for waiting. Gosh, I can't uh, find a hobby. Uh, there is a lot of echo in here now, huh? Yeah, because there's nothing to dampen the sound. I didn't realize that until I shut that and we started this. I'm like, echo. Uh, it's not real good. Let me, wow. let me just look. Oh, look at how fucking homeless we look. We look great. This is the best I, we've probably know, ever looked. I, no one can see. I'm sure in the, the 720 that it is I think that's a new thing. I think you should grow it out. Mm, I think Sean should grow me? the beard out. No. no, I really think we should try it. I think it'd be better than you would think that it would be. It's not. I don't know. It's, it's not. actually really It's really now. not. Well, well because the problem, it doesn't connect here or he, no, it here. Kind of does, it really doesn't. Uh, it looks, it's kind of looking like it. Don't Homeless. grow out the mustache. That's pedophile. Yeah. The, and that's, it's not good. We can get you on the right keeps. Patch Adams is right. No, we can get you on the right keeps. It's coming in. Oh, what's up, everybody? We uh, moved all the shit out once, and then we just moved it all back in for this stream. Because we have nowhere else to go. The mm. castle would, is what you would call um, in disarray, to put it it's kindly. It's in full disarray. This fucking echo. Dude, it's miserable. It's, oh my. it's literally driving me nuts. We'll get used to it. But... Uh, nice dig, said Jim Drew. Thanks, dude. We worked really hard on this at one point in time. <laughs> at at this, one point in time. This is now the most expensive thing, and this was like no. hundreds of dollars. Camera's the most expensive thing Good point. Yeah, the By soundboard far, is buddy. Too. Um, so. Oh, yeah, this is the new end of the AM. Yeah. I don't know the name of it, but I just opened it I'm up, and I was it. like, oh, I like that. The ass jar. I feel like that was good. I feel like that worked. Um, welcome back. We're the Verb Junkies. Live stream. This has never felt more like a hut. Oh, buddy. Than right now. I mean, listen, it wasn't clean in here. Ever. It, since we've installed shelves. Do you know how shelves. much confetti I found taking down shelves uh, oh. from the fucking confetti yeah, cannon like that you did? It's still on the floor. Yeah. And it's cleaner than it was. So many June bugs. So many spiders. That would actually surprise people how many spiders were in here. Oh. It wasn't safe or healthy. Um, this is our only Van Winkle that we own. And I tried to get everybody to kill this. At yeah, no the, one would do it. At the bottle, at the moving event that we had Saturday. <sighs> Saturday, Kelly. we had like eight people. Yes. And we moved almost realistically everything from here to the yeah. castle. Now the castle. Most things that weren't bolted down. Yeah. And now the castle is completely full. Because now there's insulation pallets. I don't know how we floor. took um, 300 square foot worth of shit. And put it in 1,300 and square foot of the shit and then completely filled it up. My dad walked in the castle. He goes, that was all in there, huh? I go, yep. He goes, how? I go, I have not a clue. I'm not, I, excluding the four pallets of insulation. Yeah. So needless to say. I um, don't know. We've been gone for two weeks. Yep. We're going to talk about the meetup because that's this weekend. The event. It's not even a meetup anymore. It's literally started as a meetup. It is now an event. It is. It's a festival at this point. Yeah, thanks to you guys yeah. and some really cool channel sponsors. And Michigan's laws. And, well. It was going to be a meetup where we all just bring our own whiskey and hang out in the park. But kind of fucked Michigan that. was like, fuck you guys. Yeah. No. So now there's distilleries there, and they've been very cool about coming. This so. place does seem very big without everything in it. It seems huge. It seems like, like we it couldn't outgrow this It just goes back to place. like, yeah, it'd been like, oh my God, we would never run our space in here. Yeah. This place is a freaking design. Basically, fire I, festival, slightly better than that. Man, what did we... I Literally, the echo is solely because any, of the bottles on the shelves. Tim Cornet said, any DD tickets left for Saturday? What is, what no. Is it? <laughs> you want to be a designated driver? We've got, we've got two of them. We've and got they're driving shuttling. buses. They cost significantly more money than a normal person would, too. Yeah, less than a DUI, too. So yeah, I'm going to highly recommend you use the provided uh, transportation. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... so who are you going to miss the most at the meetup? From Juju. You gonna miss Juju? See, I offered Juju a free fucking ticket to get his ass up here. Hey, what's up, Chino? He said, y'all rock. Welcome back. What Carry up, on. Chino? Huh? How you doing, Cheers, buddy? buddy? Long time no talk, man. Um, you know how I'm going to miss the most? I can only answer it. Grease's wife. Because I found out on their live stream last night that she's not fucking coming. Did you know this? No. I No, you were the one that told me. I had no freaking so idea. So last night, I'm editing, listening to the podcast live. Actually, I watched part of that because of something you told me, but yep. yeah. And I texted him afterwards, 
Yeah. He um, texted us today about yeah. it. Yeah. It's good. Sean needs a dunk tank at the park to take a bath. Dude, I'm going to just, I'll find a pond. Sean, a Sean would welcome a dunk tank. Yo, will miss the... me the most, of course. Yeah, my only team fan of, oh my God, Julie fucking Christ. Julie, um, I fucking told you on the phone today to not do that. I literally did. I literally did. So, we, t- Julie and I talked on the phone because they can come again. They couldn't mm-hmm. come. Now they can come. So now that they're back in, I had refunded tickets. Nick, you don't have to wear it in the AM. I'm just wearing it because I sweat through my shirt carrying everything if over in here. the AM was at the event and we all wore it, though, that'd, that'd be, be amazing. so freaking cool. Um, do you Need do more construction oh, videos? Shit. Actually, two. Yeah, you're going to get two instead of one. Sean and I were planning a little Grease's bit the other wife. day. Um, Juju said that's a lie because you know who I offered it to? I offered Juju a free ticket to Nick and Bo or Nick and CJ. Nick, somebody confirm <laughs> this for me. Who did I offer Juju's free ticket to? Oh, Don Thompson also said, pan the camera on. You want me to do that real quick? Show everyone. I'll put up the screen yeah. and show everyone how sad it is right now. Seven-inch monitor, or whatever that thing is. Yep, everyone's motion sick. Sorry. <sighs> okay, uh, so. Julielle with the uh, 150, which is wildly too much. I can't wait to see you and give you a hug. I'm too tired to be witty. You know. Thanks for showing back up to work. Thank you. BTW. Fair. Thank you. Well, if it makes you feel better, we were working when we weren't here last week. Basically, we went to put Kentucky. girl we- beard on the we- wheel. No, thank you. That is. We James did the beard. mustache. This is literally. Yeah, uh, and I'm on keeps. So imagine. Without it. Um, okay. I'm not I... going to miss you either, Sean. Hey, I've been lying to people, telling everyone you're going to be there. Who, Alec? Yeah. And then I have Sean's water boy. Wow, Sean, fuck me, right? Apparently, giving an answer was the wrong answer. I feel like that, yeah. Because there's just enough people that we actually Anyone know that I can't make it, I'm sorry. I will miss you all. How about that? Ricky, Joe? Ricky said, how embarrassing. Because we panned it. Here's the thing. <laughs> This is the same thing. The first, in the very first construction video at one point, Ricky, when Ricky and I were packing for the um, garage sale. Yeah. Just the very beginning when that pole barn looked like a hoarder. Mm, Oh, yeah. We're packing for garage sale and Ricky's like, you're going to show everybody the mess? I'm like, your mess. Before now. Okay, Joe (laughs) O'Sullivan can't make the meetup because of work. I understand it. Hashtag Bo Slayer. Hashtag Saga Whore. I'm going to miss everybody who's not there. Wait, where's the bourbon? In the castle. Yeah. All of it. There's a picture on Instagram. Check it out. Literally, it's ridiculous. Somebody was like, it looks like a city. True. Tom Harper said, oh, look, a new whiskey channel. Welcome, guys. Appreciate that, buddy. Hopefully, we're, it. we're just having fun. Hopefully, it works out. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, uh, we're trying to figure out how to find a subscriber in an algorithm or some shit. Um, Dan L said, Julie is feeling very generous today. In fact, she texted me from a jewelry store saying she got herself a gift. I, oh, Good for you, yeah. Julie. I also like how uh, Shayla said their torn down set is so much nicer than my actual set. Who said that? <laughs> Shayla. No, it's now, not. I tell you what, there Shayla, are so many spiders in here. Shayla. You can't see that. The resolution's not good enough. They're fucking everywhere. Oh, uh, it's musty as hell in here. Buddy, I threw away one shelf today. There's dirt on the corner. I ran to throw it. I'm, I would have just. So many spiders. There's a torch somewhere. Should have just burnt that to the ground. Um, <laughs> yeah, it is, it's 270 square feet for real. So, um, which is now like the size of one set. Bill A said, I will miss all the complaints about the environment, but happy to see you guys way more comfortable. The new, there's a mini split in here too. There's mini splits in there. We have the, it'll be the same situation that way. Um, yeah. I mean, listen, dude, I feel like the sign kind of gets the point across Matt. You know what I mean? Dude, I figured like, the bourbon junkies would have a bit more bourbon. Don Thompson's not going to be there. Have a drink on me. I'm going to miss Don Thompson being there a lot too. Yep. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, everybody says they're not coming. Yeah, Justin them. Jonas, he's one of the brothers. Cheers all. Looking forward to seeing everyone Saturday. I'm going to bring some weird bottles to share, including a Tasmanian 100% rye whiskey and some absinthe finished, did I say peaches? Peerless. Started with a P and then jumped up. Look. It had a P and an E. Yeah. I'm going to give you that. I missed the hot cricket. Oh, they're still here. I squashed one out of life before he came out of here. There was, um, when I was out here earlier today, I'm like, no. Freaking ways, because this door's just kind of been like, now that nothing's in here, who cares? 
And so crickets have been finding their way in. Danielle said, well, I did treat myself to a pair of Yeezys to wear to the park. You guys can't wait. I can't wait for you guys to see what I'm going to wear. I'm going to wear normal clothes. Adam said, cannot make Shoe-wise. it. Sorry, buddy. Had my boys at that time, but even though his birthday is August 20th, tonight we're celebrating my youngest, Ivan's fifth birthday. Happy That's birthday. Amazing. Hope it's, uh, it's a great one for Fair him. Happy birthday. Um, yeah, so I don't think that we'll probably ever put on an event in the middle of August ever again. Never. I Okay, I think it's truly because of like how everything lined up everything. made it bad. No, no, but for, like, people to come, though. Oh, yeah. Like, um, a bunch of, okay. All right, what the fuck? All right, chill, chill, hey, chill. Hey, Tonight's hey, a chill, chill stream, everyone. Chill, 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 chill. Okay, Julie, first off, thank you. That's ridiculous, and you know that. Yes. We talked on the phone, and Julie goes, if you don't give me, if you don't let us pay for our tickets again, again, because I because they weren't coming, <laughs> yes. then we're, I'm just going to, su- and I'm like, do not super chat anything, period. I'll send you the PayPal, do not super chat anything. And then she literally did both. So now it's not. She is a liar. Julie, as far as I'm concerned, lied to me. We'll put them to work when they get here. That's Aaron fair. Atkins, good evening, boys. Check in from Birch Run. Hey, my wife and I are hey. super excited for the meetup. I counted you guys as a factor these last few months, helping me relax, which has allowed me to land my dream That's job. That's amazing. Which will be a Bourbon Junkie stand for life. Cheers. Hey, Love that, congratulations. Uh, I don't think we really helped you that much. It's probably pretty much all you, but congratulations, buddy. Dan, are those really Yeezys? Are those really Yeezys? Probably. Dan. Jeff Frederick, can't wait for the meetup. Counting down on the days and happy to just be here in a cool place with people who are as into whiskey as I and I won't feel like an alcoholic for a day. That's fair. You Plus know. there are tickets. Yes. You can only drink so much. And and listen, just be responsible. Just yeah. be cool. And that's pretty much what the day is going to be. It's, it's five hours of fun, excitement. There'll be so much going on. There's plenty of time. We yeah. got a five hour day event and yeah. then a bottle share that you guys can hang Backwards. out in uh, probably almost as long as you want. Yeah. So realistically, and then people have rooms. So it's not like, like there's plenty of time. Take your time. Yep. Enjoy your day. Jim, don't get hammered and forget it. It's like, a marathon, not a sprint. Yes. Jim Drew, how much longer do we have to wait for the new place? Uh, I think, okay. So we have one video coming out Thursday. That's a normal video. This Thursday. And then a, a Friday. Friday and then a Monday. And then Dan's going to split up a Thursday and a Monday as the last two building updates because yeah. there's a lot that happened. There's a, like, well, like, the last, what, the end of the last building update video, they hadn't started construction yet. So that's how far behind yeah, it is. Yeah, so there's a lot yeah, that happened. a lot happened. So I think we talked about doing it into two videos. Yep. And then that next Thursday, we should be in the new building. Yeah, and I had a great freaking idea. It felt like a good idea today. I was like, ah, oh, I should write that down. Could be a good video. Jared it felt original too. Completely forgot it. Nailed it. Didn't, I was sitting at a desk with a pen. Like I literally could have written it down. I'm just hoping that when I go to sleep, it just comes back to me. Whiskey Center, I'll be rocking $35 flip flops. Hashtag Shushavan. Fucking damn it. What was that? Damn it. Shavan? Damn it. Yeah, sure. Somebody there? said in the last four guesses that five uh, hours of bourbon. What could possibly go sideways? Okay, so small amounts of bourbon. Six ounces of whiskey in over five, five hours. I mean, if you want to slam six hours of, or six ounces of whiskey in the first hour and go to bed, but that's you, up to you. No, but you'll be the sober. The cops in five will hours. be there. Yes, there will be police. There will be police on site at, at the park, and yep. then we can tell them to tell you to leave. Yeah, like hey man, in the back of a police car. You gotta be cool. Um, <laughs> These are the rules. Just be cool. This is so easy. I swear to God, just be cool. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Super easy. Guys, there's gonna be cool shit. Sean just picked up all of the liquor. Oh, today. so much. Well, most of it. Ninety there, percent some, of it. Yeah, true. But Sharon there's Richmond. some discos in there. There's some uh, many discos there's in there. There's some um, Bardstown rum finish in there. Dude, they're like, I haven't, that Fox and Odin better be good, dude. Holy shit. Sheridan Richmond, bummed I can't come to the meetup, but it is Father's Time making an appearance. No. no. You think we that could, man's going to leave, leave his Florida. house? There's no way he's I wish. His house. We talked to him about it, and he will not leave Florida. <laughs> one time. I think there was one conversation, he was like, yeah, man, let me know. And it was like, all right. Yeah, not real. <laughs> not going to bother you. Thomas, Thomas lays on. <laughs> A.K.A. Nick Offerman, according to his picture. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Can't make it to the meetup. My wife and I are expecting our second child. Cheers. Congratulations, Cheers, buddy. buddy. So this is why. No more August events. Everyone fucks in the winter. Every Yeah, everybody's bored. That's why I'm here. August 13th, baby. Hey, me down. and Kira have the same birthday. No way. Yeah, exact. like exact same day. Same. They matched. How they, year close? I don't. Kira, I didn't ask that. Kira, how old are you? I didn't, I didn't ask that. She seems like somebody who told you. Know, you don't ask that. Kira seems like somebody who told you. just can't wait to see everyone. So excited. Hey, Dara. What's up, Dara? Um, oh, it jumped. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot. <gasps> Nancy's in chat. Nancy, I'm so sorry I didn't get to yeah. respond or answer your call. Just well, obviously was, you know, in the middle of some stuff. And then we had this. So um, 
And she said everybody for the industry, it's crazy month too. She was talking about how they were, yeah, doing most Q, businesses. Q3 Q3. And Q4 yeah. whiskeys blending and stuff. So, um, Nancy, thank you for the text. I'll text you back. I promise. Uh, I was just yeah, showing Dan Sean just what about you it, yeah. texted me, which is absolutely ridiculous and crazy. Um, but no worries. Literally no hard feelings. Thank you for the conversations and chats. Um, like I said, next time we plan an event, which in, hopefully in theory will be next year. Yep. It Try will to do it be indoors. most likely indoors because the mother nature just hates. Uh, well, Chrissy said the weather looks like it might pan out. So oh. we, I, we just added another tent on oh. just in case we have a, uh, a 30 by 60 tent. Yeah. That's going to be the main, main tent. Yeah. And then another 20 by 40 tent just in yeah. case. And a pavilion. And I checked the weather today in mother nature's. Getting it out of her system, not during I our told event. you, a week away is hard. A week away is way huge, for also, sure. I'm pretty sure those Nelson bros were from him. Yeah, yeah okay. Can I, tell you, can I tell you what happened? Mm. I bought some, mm -hmm. and he sent them. Mm -hmm. So we have... He texted me. We have two sealed night. ones. Yeah. I texted him, I go, I'm so fucking sorry. And now we have two sealed bottles of Nelson bros. Yep. Should have just given them away, yep. I guess. No, because the, well, the sealed ones are the ones he sent. Mm -hmm. Where are the other ones at? You know where they're at? No, I, we must have just moved them. I don't even know where they had to be back here, probably somewhere down here. I'm assuming, Maybe. since they were submitted. Yeah. Yeah. David okay. Ruby. Oh, I'm sorry. What was your? What were you finishing there? I don't. know. I just said my bad. You were talking like about Nancy dickhead. and stuff. Yeah. Nan I. Hopefully, we can do this at a time when it, everybody's not slammed and everybody's mm -hmm. not having children and people's children aren't starting football. Oh yeah. That was yeah. another one. Everything's like going on. School yeah. starting in August for kids. Yeah. yeah. So we'll move it. Yep. Um, no casualties, actually. I don't think moving anything over there. I don't think anything broke. We didn't break a single bottle, which is amazing. Okay, can I be completely honest? All of everybody. I would not that, taking that bat. Everybody, <laughs> no. And everybody that came to help was one hundred percent too careful. Yeah, probably. Did you see everybody setting down bottles? Because oh, they're yeah. not there. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, slam it the fuck down. I dropped the first one. I was the first person over there. The second bottle out of my hand went tank, bam. Uh, cement or rock. Oh. Some some it didn't break. It was only about this Guys, high, but we it went. are breaking beep, beep. shit over there. David Rubio, good evening, junkies. Definitely missed the lives the last few weeks. Hopefully, you guys got Thanks, a new buddy. one chip challenge. It's a yearly tradition now. Hey, Dan. You don't know about this yet. Sorry. It's in my house. There's a new one in the house from David Rubio. You want to know yeah! what it says on the box? The box is blue. You know what it says on it? Turns your tongue blue. Hottest one yet. Swear to God. Like, we needed. He literally messaged me on uh, Facebook, and he says, hey, man, you know I got to send one every year. And I said, no, you don't. That's what I said. I said, you did not. Yeah, 100%. What, Ross, what happens when I want to try all the bottles in the bottle share? You probably make it about half the way and I don't die. do that. But don't do that. Does Pappy 12 usually not do good in similar blinds? It's good. This is a little proof. Really good, yeah. It's good. This is our only Van Wiggle that we own at this point. We have a <laughs> Pappy... 23 with uh, um, poor man's in it. Yeah, we have poor And man's. I think we have an old rip bottle. Oh, Shayla said August 22nd for me. Everyone's in August. Everybody. Guys, there's going to be a cake there. So if it's your Oh, yeah, birthday, it's a lot of August birthdays. If there's going to there's, there's gonna be a cake, you can eat some of it. Sean's back to Liquid IV, sponsor change. Oh, no, we have... No, we work with both of them. There's not a shelf there. Oh, you've pointed. We just moved. I know exactly where it's at. It was right there You're on pointed. that shelf. No, we work both. They're no, different. Different use cases, 100%. Z-Biotics isn't a hydration thing. Yeah. Liquid IV is a hydration thing. Z-Biotics is a preventative maintenance thing. As Simon says, what will happen in the old hut is Ricky getting a she shed. A gym. It's going to be a, the, the new gym. Well, all the weight equipment was over there, and this is going to be over here now. Oh, I, I went to a golf outing today, and so I've been out and about all morning and stayed up real late editing for the week because we have an event coming up. So a little tired. Yeah, and the rest of the week's you know? just not. That's why I said we gotta shut down eleven because the rest of the week doesn't slow down. No, it like, just ramps up. At some point, we're gonna get where we get to like just kind of relax once we're at the place we need to be. Chino said, "Dan, when will Sean share the boys with the misses and enter fatherhood? Who knows? Why are you asking? Why me are you asking that him question? also? Yeah. I mean, I do referee those events for them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, I have to submit it in writing." To Dan. We make sure that everything, the process is submitted correctly. And, you know, the mail, it's in the mail. Code Jet. Pretty sure my Super Jet icon is throbbing. <laughs> okay. Just, it does. Okay. Throbbing's an interesting it word. It definitely does that, though. It does. Like, it blinks it, it at kind you. Of like, blinks hey, is an appropriate don't, word. Don't do that. Throbbing felt sexual. Evan Fenyes. Medical school is insanely stressful, and Bourbon Junkies is a great outlet. Keep doing what you're doing from Memphis, Tennessee. Thank you. Hey, keep doing what you're doing, and I hope everything uh, works out for you, buddy. It's definitely stressful and very hard. So, good luck. Thank you for Super Chat, buddy. 
Sean's face looks like he's seeing Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> there, I, it's just my eyes are dead. Yeah. Guys, uh, the this, only- <laughs> like, literally, it, like, through the weekend. Oh, look at this. Into look this, this week. Guy. I can't even read that. Yeah, guys, Hidden Barn. Oh, God, you're going to say it. We're not going to review it, right? Never. Should we just do it now? It's hot trash. Oh, Aaron Atkins, I wear a BJ shirt while flying. You deft help with job. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, baby. Appreciate it, man. Um, listen. We, well, happy birthday, Mojo. He said August 11th was his. We, um. Oh, Ricky said you're welcome to the king. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Did you put that other one in there, your fridge? Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine it's good at this point. I'll still eat it. It's been, it's, it's got to be stale as fuck. No, it's fine. Ricky, did you just move it out of the fridge today to throw it away? I saw it on the counter today, but it was in the fridge. Um, but cake doesn't go bad in like a day. Nobody buddy. gets stale. It's just not the. You I know, like it. It's just mediocrity. What? See, here's the problem. You've 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 uh, allowed yourself to become comfortable. Yeah. Because you don't have water, yeah. so you're like fucking oh, eat whatever. That's true. I, I can't make good food right now. I had to, I had to boil like, some water last night to uh, wash some dishes because oh, I was gonna dude. lose my fucking mind if I didn't do some dirty dishes. Okay, okay. Danielle, hey, what the Dan, fuck? Hey, you and Julie, stop. Listen, <sighs> and this is okay. Danielle, get the fifty memberships. Thank you so much, buddy. So uh, if you got a membership in, from Dan, say thank you. Are uh, getting a membership from Dan, so you can thank him say for that. Say thank you in chat if you got one from Dan. Dan, that's ridiculously cool. Um, thank you, buddy. Now you and Julie need to both stop. So Nicholas um, Jones said, thank you for hosting my B-Day party Saturday. It took all the weight off my, uh, oh, took all the weight off Serena's shoulders. Yeah, hopefully we did good enough. You know what I mean? De- uh, mediocrity also. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it's enough for you. Nick is got to be the bougiest Schwallenberg. Man. I think I nailed it. Um, yeah, actually, I think you Many did. Many thanks for the Rex when I appeared on the stream, or no worries, when I appeared on the last stream. EC single barrel and single barrel, small batch, either one, or Red Red Empire, Emerald Giant, which I'm sipping right now, are tasty with a capital T. Nice. Emerald Emerald Giant's the way to go, man. Solid whiskey. Okay, I got to get through all this, all this. Yeah, uh, we'll have liquid IV at the event. So everyone's getting a grab bag. Uh, There will be uh, a bunch of little goodies in there for Mm -hmm. you guys, and liquid IV is going to be one of them. Yep. Um... Oh, she did take it out. Is what I saw Ricky say, yes, I did somewhere in there. Did you th- she might have already thrown it away then. Mm-hmm. If she took it out of the fridge, she's tossing her. My water boy uh, said, hope all goes well this weekend. I miss y'all and everyone there. Love y'all and the junkie stamp. Hashtag room 40. What am I missing on that one? He said, did you show me room 40? What's Earlier. Room? Is it, when I hear room 40, I think of a cigar. New studio? Uh, we- yeah, this is it. Yep. Thank you guys for the fundraiser. Appreciate it. 60 grand went into this. We <laughs> lost everything behind us somehow. <laughs> we actually put all of it on red, and we lost. I have clicked the calendar in the bottom right real quick. I want to see how many Tuesdays we have. Oh, no. Okay, click the... Yep, click that right there. Did I not click Does that? Does it do... Oh, do, fucking Windows 11, dude. This or whatever one? Oh, right there. Yes. Tuesday one, two. Tuesday. I have an idea for the 30th. Okay. Like a break-in video? No. Um, like where, how we do the live stream. I would like to kind of we just slowly yeah. move her over. Yeah. So the next one, we're just in your driveway. And the next one after that, we're oh, right in front of the castle. We can't do out, outside live streams. No. We've tried it twice. Yeah. We did it once here to It'd announce. It'd actually probably be good now. Oh, because it's getting cold. Yeah. The bugs are dead. The bugs are dying yeah. cold more. Fuck the bugs. I want that into the AM shirt you have. I don't know what the name of it is, but I like it. I just it. put it, put it on. Jar. What, is he holding wheat? Yeah. It Damn, like it's it. kind of like wheat. Wait, is that whiskey? I don't know. I wouldn't say anything about that. Whoa, is that whiskey? I was watching. Um, so sometimes you're, if your guys is, I, this is a good reason for people to leave comments. If your guys' comments are good enough, I'll go back and watch a video yeah. to see what the comment was about, right? Somebody said, when Wait. the creature of light entered Dan, something, something. So I saw that comment pop on my phone. I go, got to watch the video now. So a fly f- or something flew inside oh. of my body. Oh yeah, that, right. Because you, I had to zoom in. You, go, I don't know what that was, yeah. but it just entered my body. Yeah. So it was like a fly went in your ear. There are times <laughs> when you guys say stuff that made me think that. I feel like I had a similar feeling in my body finding out that I'm pretty sure that's whiskey and he's holding the wheat grain. Coach asked, said, "Someone tell him, Matt." Dan said, "Throbbing." I like how he said ADHD. Ricky said Matt. on the counter. Oh, okay, so it's not thrown away. Steve Jamer said, good luck this weekend. Hope you get to enjoy. I'm- we will. Ricky's going to do the event, like run the event. 
So, so hopefully we can be around and talking to people yeah, and we'll be enjoying time with everyone and like the hangout aspect yeah. of it. That's yeah, what we'll, we want to we'll do. get to enjoy the event, which will be awesome. Honestly, I would love to run around the cornhole tournament and cause oh pure gremlins. fucking chaos. Gremlins. Yeah. Yeah. This is so Hey, I'm not good at it. Dan's even worse. Oh. And I'm stealing shots. Yeah, my dad's luck, perception. Everybody. Shit. So, Nan- real quick, um, Nancy's taking off. Will you scrub one? Oh, yep. All right, got to go for now. I'll text call you later about the spiritual goodie bag. Send it out your way. Right. Thank you. Hey, Nancy. Hey, thank, thank you, you Nancy. so much. We for appreciate real. it. She would. She set up a little bit ago that she's um, blending Magnus for Q4, which is really Ooh, freaking cool. Nice. So, Nancy, thank you for real. I appreciate you literally even cons- like trying okay. to make it happen. It's freaking awesome. This is Damien Luck's fucking fault here. He said, at Dan L, I didn't get a gifted membership. Guess my settings denied it. I get, I changed oh, it now. Yeah. Please send more membership. Yeah, you have to be able to accept it. And then it. below that, Dan L gifted 20 memberships. Hey, stop it. Sake. You two stop. How I was Gordo3. Welcome to the BJ fam, though. On your own. Dan can, yeah. Dan Cooper. Oh, I already said that. Welcome to the fucking fam, Osgordo. Number one. Number two, somebody. I can't stop looking, though. We, yeah, so there used to be a shelf over here that encompass this. Now it's just chilling. Man, I so bad want to flip those switches. Don't, that. don't. I really Alex do. Furlock, what would you pay for an EH Taylor tornado bottle? Combined, just for fun, be honest. 500 bucks. <laughs> I'm just not interested. 400 yeah. is my, like, max Hard. on, like, most bottles. I've said it a couple times. Like, I won't spend over $400. How much have you paid on for a bottle? How much what? Have you paid for a bottle? Fuck. $500. <laughs> I've got one bottle. Of one bottle. I've got one bottle that I know I bought at a discount because they put it on sale. Mm-hmm. And I'm saving one fucking bottle for when we do something cool. It could be a launch of something. Um, I've been holding it back. That was around that price range. And I've spent that much once on a single bottle. Yeah. And I even told my wife, I said, I had, and then she said, you know, you're not Nicholas Jones. Lucan's <laughs> gifted 20. I don't know. Hey, Thank you, guys. Hey, you guys got to relax. Jeez, oh, Pete. Serious question. How many For people are we up to? Also, there's Cornhole Tournament trophies that are looking sick from Ron. Um, I think it's was kind there a of... picture of him? Wait, was there a picture of him? Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't read who that Super Chat was from. I said from Ron. Whew. So I figured you would. I know, but I... Well, you said, like... Like the trophies are from Ron. This mm-hmm. is where it went in my head. Mm-hmm. Not the super chat from Ron. Oh, uh, I was like, oh, did he pose in the um, um, Ron, we got stuff today, buddy. I'll send you a picture. It's going to be like uh, an open registration. Well, we've got yep. uh, a, a bracket for 32 teams yep. set up. When you get there. When you get there, which Sign would be up. 64 people, which is still like a quarter of the people. I know like yeah. not everyone is going to be interested in playing cornhole. Yeah. Um, I mean, if we have a crazy outturn, we might change it a little bit. We, we can... Yeah, first something. come, first serve. Yeah, together. but it's kind of like this is a test. Yeah. It's our first year. It's lit Give us a break. Yeah. Hey, when this whole thing goes sideways, give us a break. <laughs> first year, it's your. <laughs> I'm one. sorry. We'll do better next year. Yeah. Um. You okay. know what? It's our first release. Here's yeah, out. Yeah. It's only got to be okay, right? To warrant a second one. Luke uh, does. Oh, jo- I Joe. Said some shit. Per into the AM. Lunar spirits is the name of this. I was close. Didn't you say astronaut piss or something like that? I said ass jar. Oh. Okay. <laughs> It's an astronaut in a jar, dude. I feel like it works. Mojo said he paid 500 for an 89 bland. Ooh, oh, I bet that's an interesting whiskey. Dusty uh, Buffalo Trace. That's kind of cool. Yeah. And 89's our birth year. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's, that's true. Really cool. Um, what bottle was it, Sean? Uh, it was uh, a Black Arts. Sean and I only spend like buku bucks, what we would consider a lot of money. On Scotch. Scotch. But so weird. The SRP went up to six hundred yeah. on Black Arts, and I went to a shop that had it on sale for the old SRP at five hundred. Yeah. And I told Dan, I was like, "I'm gonna buy us a balling ass bottle when we when we do." And neither we and we've we never it. had we, Black we toast. Arts. We have. We've got some to sample. Austin of Hubbard sent it to us, but it all came. Someone out. else sent oh, us a okay, sample okay. of it. We've had a okay. sample of Black Arts. Oh, we're like, them. fuck, that one was amazing. Okay. And that was it. We've only had ever one all sample. Yeah. And so I was sitting there, and I said, I got to get it. And then Sean and uh, Opperman shamed me for it being one of the lower <laughs> proof gosh, ones. Dude. No, it was a year younger. Oh, that's it's true. It was a year off. I thought it was like two proof. Yeah. He's like, if that was the 27 year, it's like. That yeah, was man. about $100. If only it was one more year older in the decade that yep. it came from. Like, 
Dude, that means they distilled. That's so. The, what's wild to me when you think about crazy age statements is thinking of the year it was distilled. Yeah. Like I, for some reason, I feel like I'm numb to like, oh, that's twelve. Like that's whatever. But then you're like, yeah, but oh, you know, they like distilled that. Yeah, it's yeah. twelve years. Yeah. You're like, they distilled that in the eight in the eighties. Oh shit. Okay. That's yep. Hey, buddy, it's the nineties now. Twenty would be. Mm-hmm. Until the nineties. Yeah, fuck you math. Old fuck. Uh, Chris Hall. Everyone yeah. hit the like button. Love y'all, Junkie Baby. For real. Hey, if you guys don't mind slapping the like button just for free. Uh, you know. <laughs> okay, I'm going back up because uh, chat just jumped. Austin Ripper Burger, welcome to the fucking fam, buddy. Ripper Gur. There's no B. There's no burger on there. There isn't. But we're gonna take that to the Secretary of State and get that fixed. Oh, I don't have tags on my car. That reminds me, they are definitely out. Uh, no, we do have uh, corn, cornhole boards there, Chrissy. Eight. Yeah, eight so, sets. So, eight sets. so real quick, we'll explain that. So there's two game. There's gonna be two games. Yep. The cornhole is is double sponsored. We got an American Highway sponsorship, which has guys. What you're going to take home from the cornhole tournament is freaking awesome. Can I check on the chat real quick? Yeah. Troy said was going to super chat twenty, but was told to chill. Fair, literally fair, buddy. Justin Thank Jonas said, "I'm from Ohio. I'm legally obligated to pull, play cornhole." I think most Midwesterners are actually. The Black Arts amazing. Yeah, like I'll I I had to pay up for that one, just because I haven't seen it. Ever, really? Somebody said that's hey a... Zachary. Can't wait to see you uh, Friday what Saturday. Up, buddy. Can't wait to see you too, buddy. Um, you that dancing? is a uh, still it collab. They somebody just oh said really? It. Somebody just said. I think Luke said that. Ops, 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 ops better fucking be there, Nick. I We're, swear to God, if Ops doesn't come, I, I didn't see. Luke, did you say that? Someone. I might. just caught it. No, this is too far up. It was okay. below this. All right, up one. Nope. Right, uh, Joe Sullivan. Mudkip said it. Lunar Spirits was in partnership with Still It. Oh no shit. That's crazy. I didn't know that. That's really cool. I think we both have that shirt now. Hidden Barn, no good. It's back. hot trash. What? Listen, you know what Hidden Dan Barn Al, is? all I am wearing Saturday is Pappy Van Winkle bottle bag. Just letting you know. I'm looking for it. I'm still going to hug him. You know what? We'll we'll let it fly. All right. Now you go back to what you were saying. We have a bottle bag here, too. We do. We it's full, filled it. full of corks. That one that deep. <clears throat> um, Man, I can't realize how corks and cocks is super close. But go ahead. Dude, one of the greatest SNL kids of all time was Cork Sucker. When they're they're in the winery. I thought you were going with Dick in a Box. That's a good one. Yeah. It's super old. It's when Jimmy Fallon was, or um, yeah, Fallon, yep. Fallon, Fallon was on it. Yep. He like was laughing the whole. Thing. They're like, "You're a cock sucker," and he starts <laughs> just dying. Dude, it's fucking greatest thing. The ever Debbie seen. Downer one. That Dude, voted as like the number one that is people really? broke the most on. Who was in that skit? Uh, that was Fallon too. Uh, Lindsay shit. Lohan was the host. That, How old? She walked off at the end because she couldn't say her last line because she was serious? laughing so hard. Debbie Downer one? I'm yeah. going to look that one up. Look I it. like the Farley skits a lot because I love... Like, Cork Soaker. 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 <laughs> so, well, fuck me, dude. I'm done. Holy shit. Okay, listen. Julie said she's not going. Um, I assume... What did Tommy say he was going to be a Speedo, I think? Yeah. Yeah. He's a big man for a Speedo, so... A Speedo and Tommy will be a sight we're seeing. I hope it's lime green. It would be a sight Lime green or hot pink. Those are your two options. Um. So, real quick, we'll talk about the games. Yep. Oh, yeah. Event Saturday, noon to five. Um, the gonna games do- are going to start after every, after the last bus leaves, after the last bus drops everybody off. Yeah. So we'll give everybody some time to get there. One thirty is the last bus there. I hope most people will probably be there before, but we're giving yeah. people stragglers little, to get there. A little time. Um, now, that being said, um, we'll, like, announce, like, the beginning. We have a speaker from yep. Eric. Thanks. Thankfully, Scott. Sky Erickson, whatever. He's a Viking. It's the same. So anyways, he, uh, we have a speaker, so we'll announce that. Then we'll announce like when the Cornhole Tournament is going to start that day because oh, we'll have a better idea. I've been streaming that the whole fucking night. I don't know. Don't There's know why. A, nobody's been bitching yet about internet. I just saw it go. Um, but what we're going to do is Cornhole Tournament, you'll sign up there. The Chip and Stick, which is a chipping golf tournament, you'll sign up there. The Cornhole Tournament is sponsored by Bards to, or American Highway and... By Tri City Brewing. What's up, Martin? So you're gonna get if you win, you're gonna each person on the team will get a growler and I, I don't a no, cool ass mystery prize. We have not announced I think, that. I, I think we just wait okay. until let people see that's it. Fair. Cool ass fucking cool ass mystery prize. Really cool. So that's a double sponsored thing. I think realistically we're gonna end up <laughs> sponsoring the chip and stick. The chip and stick, and you're gonna end up getting picks. From that's us. gonna be a one on one. That'll run super quick though. Yeah. Because that that's we're gonna do one round. High score moves on, right? One, it's still bracketed. Yeah, yeah. But yes, everybody will have so four, four golf shots. balls. Yeah. There'll be four four people per mat, four golf balls. There's going to be chipping or pitching wedges there yep. for you. Um, several different sizes, so nobody's like, well, I, I, I can bring mine. I get to use the pitching wedge. Yeah. 
Um, how many tickets are left? I don't buy tickets at this point. Just uh, if you want, you know, don't. I'm just taking it off the site. I don't know. Wait for what? I don't know how many tickets are left. No. I think we have, let's say, 25 a left to like fulfill the. I think we have 250 agent orders. Oh yeah. So I think there's 220 ish people tickets sold right now, give or take. So. So, um, yeah, we, we got the chip and stick with that wool sponsor. Yep. That'll go super quick. That'll run after the cornhole tournament. Okay, yes. Not at the same time. And Very then, important. so, like, after the cornhole tournament's done, the boards will stay out. People can go play and have a good time yeah. there. And same thing with the chip and stick. We'll go through the chip and stick tournament. We'll keep them out. People can play with them, have a good time. Um, also, cool, cool prizes, though. Okay, what, I'm, what I might be most, this is, like, a selfish thing. I'm <laughs> most looking forward to the, um, and the we'll board guests tournament. Oh, yeah. That's that's going to be put on by the, the Bardstown booth. Yep. It'll take a ticket. You guys are going to have sample tickets. You give them a ticket, they can pour you, they're going to pour you a mystery sample. I believe Dan Calloway is the one pouring them, which is fucking okay. crazy because that's Dan, that's Bardstown's master blender. Um, but I know... Okay, so we're going to know what the whiskey is. We're not going to participate, obviously. We're going to know what the whiskey is. You guys aren't. Nobody is. And so, but you're I all gonna, know. You're all going to get the same whiskey. Mm-hmm. So don't spoil it for other people if you figure out what it is. You're gonna get a sheet. It's gonna. You're gonna write your name and then our questions from poor guesses. You're gonna answer them, and then at like three thirty ish, we're gonna announce the winner. And then you're gonna get literally, literally two engraved glens that only two exist. Period. So, yeah. uh, we missed one from Hypnocracy. Dan Allen, are you reenacting that Red Hot Chili Peppers <laughs> tube sock show? Jeez, oh, God, I hope not. And Aaron Atkins, Dan, can we get a little bottle flip competition at the meetup? I don't want to embarrass you, but... I do think I got to put you on your back with a that. A bottle flip hot dog competition? I might literally... I do... Bottle I flip literally hot dog eat 100-yard dash competition. I could literally bottle flip a bottle, eat a hot dog, catch a bottle. Would you stop fucking asking about Hidden Barn, everyone? It's <laughs> trash. Blast a few notes out of the pappy. Rich sweet oak. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Somebody just said that. Bar- Maraschino cherries. Yeah. Um, like good ones, quality, high quality. It tastes like the best aged whiskey mm-hmm. on the market still today. True. Um, it's fantastic at what, 90 proof? Buffalo Trace does something magical um, at 12 years that most people are not getting, that sweet oak characteristic. Yeah. It, it's got that little bit of tobacco, uh, caramel, oak. Uh, right apple cherries, skin. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, those are both good. Um but I like just got the right it's, it's just the, the like sweet tobacco gets me so much on the buffalo trace it's stuff. so good the only other stuff that's like that really is in my mind uh orphan barrel shit yeah and i think it's it's got to be because some of the orphan barrel shits actually mm-hmm. they're sure. realistically old buffalo mm-hmm. trace so um okay so yeah i don't know listen it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a good day i can't um, wait fr- i can't wait till it's over I love you all. That's what Scott came today, and I and he goes, "How's it going?" I go, "Sunday's gonna be great." And he goes, "What?" And I go, "Sunday, it's gonna be awesome." Because all of the stress, post realistically, all the stress when we get to the bottle oh, share, yeah. we're good. I talked about my we're brother chilling. today. I was like, "Hey, give me a week. Just I <laughs> at post Sunday, do whatever you want. Oh, I'll no. live at my dad's house I and do know. shit. I just just need to get across that finish line a little bit." Oh, yep. Victoria. Hedge 82 welcome to the BJ fam. Thanks for being here. Appreciate the membership. Um, yeah, thanks for joining the fucking fam. Dana with the well, 149 hot dog. Oh. That got on it? Sprinkles? Oh, I couldn't. It's right behind the... That's got fucking sprinkles That's on That's mustard, it. dude. Mm. A little mustard. Somebody's real shit at applying mustard. That <sighs> bottle's almost empty. Well, Cam be signing autographs. Can somebody get me one that says Sean's water boy? <sighs> Fuck that You funny. know who I won't miss? Zachary motherfucking Jones. I will a little bit. Yeah, I will too, but I don't want him to think that. You know what I mean? Nice warm embrace. Him and uh, Matt Porter. Good hugs. Porter's going to be there. Yeah. I'm excited to see Porter. I'm... Grease is going to be there with James. I'm so excited. So that's who's coming instead of his wife. I know. I'm so excited. And um, I'm so excited for that. That's going to be an unchained Grease. You know why that's great, actually? I I think he's going to throw someone over a fucking fence. Oh, also, I, I saw Luke talk about stepping, stepping up his flask game. So technically... That'd be cool. No outside alcohol. Yeah. If you should happen to have, like, a sample bottle yeah, or, like, a little a flask, it. It can't be, you can't be walking around handing it to people, being out and about. Yep. Just, just be cool with it, okay? Yeah. That, the, it, we will confiscate shit. The, I don't care. The law in Michigan is, for the events are that people can't bring their own alcohol. This is why the distilleries it's a are, ticketed event. have been coming and invited and they've yes. been really cool about it. Um, 
like Sean said, listen, if you have it in your, in your, listen, if don't If you have a little, like, Agent Orr travel, yeah. travel sampler cool. and you just get one out of a fanny pack and you were just like, and you put it right back in, or, like, took your Agent Orr and threw it right in there and you were like, cool, and you were be, drinking that and you were not causing a scene? Be no cool. one saying shit? Just be cool. It's shit. Two words. One rule, two words. You're walking around with a fucking open bottle <laughs> like this? I'm taking your shit. Yeah, that's not cool. See, that's not being cool. You're being <laughs> not cool. And, and this is how you're going to be approached. You're being not cool, and the rules be cool. It's going to go, work. hey, uh-uh. <laughs> um, fill Lugans. in any content? No. Uh, bottle chug competition? No. <laughs> Water. Guys, that's your bottle chug guys, competition. It is like... It is, cool. This is not a fucking get shmammy an hour into the event. Uh, a constitutional then, freedom fighter. That's probably my favorite 90 proof drink. Yeah. It's a good one. Lost profit might beat the shit out Dan of it. absolutely. Don't be that guy that gets everyone in trouble. Yeah. Not just us. This is this is all your events. This is true. There will be rain on that parade, yep. whether it's actually sunshine out, if someone is doing that. Yep. So um, and not from us. And listen, don't be the guy that I'll like, pull the fence out and tell everyone to get the fuck out. I yeah, don't, don't be the don't be the guy that ruins that guy or girl that ruins the event for next year. You know what yeah, I mean? Because yeah, because we plan on doing so. more in the future. But this doesn't happen if people aren't cool. Chrissy, um, water will be provided. And yeah, then, we, oh, uh, I didn't get more. Bring, I would realistically, I'd just bring cash for the food truck. Yep. So the the menu is posted uh, of the the on Woe the Tacos is the name of it. It's yeah. on the Facebook page uh, for the event. And it's on um, the Pours in the Park page, too. Oh, perfect. It's in two places, so. They've got a bunch of cool options. Yeah. There's a vegan option if, if you should choose that. Yep. Andrew Buchanan, been a while. How's everyone? What's Good, up, hopefully, everyone. The Cannon. cannon. Yep. Fucking Cannon. What up, buddy? Nots. Whether it be a video recap for those of us who don't like to hang out with people, there won't. <sighs> Not from us. Um, kinda, <laughs> we kind of tried. We threw, like, a wet towel at the wall, and it didn't stick. Um, yeah. We tried to get someone that would come and film it Yeah. Uh, and maybe do some editing for us yeah. just so we could be with people and not Wasn't be behind a camera. And um, come to find out, that shit's expensive. It's not in budget. And yep. we don't want to carry cameras around all day. That sounds lame. Yeah, us, because so. talking to someone like this, like, hey, how you doing? Yeah. And people are like, Cool, yeah. what the fuck are you doing, man? And cameras make most people feel not comfortable. Yeah, but there are like, cameras everywhere, though. we're carrying cameras. So. Uh, what about a glizzy chugging competition? Dan would win. What's glizzy? It's a hot dog. Why are they called that? It's a, it, it's a golfing thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a youth thing. I'd like to see Sean try and take a bottle from Jason Busey. Hey, I'm not going to be alone on it. There's plenty of us. Yeah. It's just anyway, just, and anyway, Busey'd be cool. Here's the thing. A Busey's like twice my size. Yeah. Like, we've not met Busey in person. He's a, and I already know that he's like six, seven or six. I'm going to have to get Tommy in his fucking Speedo. Yeah. yeah. Now, Tommy and Speedo might Dan, scare Busey. Dan L in his fucking sock yeah, or whatever. Yeah. I'm going to send them, that guy. Yeah, I'm be like, hey, sock. go get him. Um, Live stream that insanity. Oh, fuck. Live stream the meetup. That sounds like a freaking nightmare. No, there yeah. might be like we could do like Patreon lenses of like the games. That'd yeah, be fun. Yeah, yeah. Stuff we like that. that. Um, but otherwise, we're not. Sean and I aren't filming anything. We don't want to. Is Knox coming? No. He Knox coming? would probably have a heart attack. He yeah. loves people. I don't think But that's too much for him. I don't think that, too much. um I don't think pets in big crowds are the move unless they're like your therapy animal. 100%. Because you know not saying? everyone's cool with dogs. Like, yeah. he's super cool with people. Like, yeah. never going to have an issue. He yeah. loves people. But for sure. not everyone's cool with dogs. Yeah. He's not exactly a small dog. No. So I don't want to cause and an issue for anyone. so happy. Oh, yeah. And so full of it life. It'd just be a, a stream of piss everywhere as he's just fucking running into people, getting pets. Oh, taking living people out without a doubt. Life. We're talking people are getting at the knees. Out, done. No, out, he's just done. gonna go person to person Dude. to person oh, to person. Everyone's gonna pet him, and he's just gonna be like, <gasps> yeah. Lance Robbins. What's up, Robin? Still, I thought it was Robinson, and then I tried to correct myself, and it's still Robin. So sad, I can't give uncomfortably long hugs with a just let it happen whisper in the ear to all that attend. Have a great event, everyone. Thank, thank you, buddy. buddy. Appreciate it, man. Um, no, so we are not gonna confiscate Dan L's pappy. Depends on where it's back. at when we try to confiscate it. That is actually, we've Very not tried the Heaven Hill 17 either. Um, what did, um, what did teachers say? Ooh, 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 ooh. I was catching up. Oh, just hot dogs for the win. There will be bottles for, listen, um, so there's a pingry blend that we did that's just for the meetup. Yep. So there, our yield was significantly higher than we have tickets sold, like a hundred bottles higher yeah. or something. Uh, so take. is that what you're answering? Right yeah. There? Yeah. So at the event. 
Yeah, so at the event, which is the Saturday portion, um, Bourbon Outfitters is actually going to be hosting a page. You'll be able to buy it online and just pick it up at the event. You yeah, just show we'll, proof of purchase. Yeah, we just have so. to see a proof of purchase, and then we'll have it at a... So bottles will be at the end of the event because we don't want people walking around with bottles just to kind of stamp out the... Yeah. Ah, thing yeah. um and it's not fucking exactly light to walk around with all day derek, um derek matt said can folks with food allergies bring food in hash slash re-enter so you guys are gonna get wristbands at entry at initial yeah, yeah. entry you're gonna get wristbands you're in and out put just no alcohol on. leaving the spot that's yeah. the only rule put, just put um, the you can on. bring your own chairs i guess if you want but we have uh, a shit ton of picnic tables yeah. we have i think i only ordered like 50 chairs yeah, you extra, can bring your own chairs yeah but yeah we, yeah you can bring a chair if you got like the lawn like the the chairs you bring them i don't care that's fine yeah Just i'm not leaving like a that. camera up like whiskey dick at the uh oh, we're not the, doing the, that yeah the no. la quinta no that's what well i don't know what you guys are gonna get from that yeah it's just gonna be uh white noise and chaos yeah you're gonna get to see people walk around i guess David Smith, the wife, made it very clear to me that we were taking our triplets to Walt Disney World and there I was not go. going to meet up so we remain married. There you go. That's fair. Hey, we have a good time, though. I hope your kids have a blast, dude. Um, Will there be a specific number to post pictures? What's that mean? I don't know. No. Neither of us know what it means, so definitely not. Um, uh, we tag us and, like, explain more. Um, scroll up one, two. It's all right. Right there. What about small clips from people that get sent to you guys? You guys could do that. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, yeah. If any, so I do know that there's a YouTube channel that's coming and he, they asked if they could like vlog it. And I said, definitely have fun. Okay, if you guys reading that, if you guys, if, if there's a YouTube channel coming that wants to do that as a vlog, you're more than welcome to do that. Sean and I ourselves don't want to film it, right? So we were going to talk, we were talking about getting a, like a videographer to do it. We talked to one person about it and just out of the, budget range realistically yeah. so we didn't end up doing it uh where was zachary said also why jameson is going to be there that's that's his uh german shepherd just a little too everyone. excited he said minus the piss everywhere. oh okay too excited for people Knox is a covid puppy so when he sees a large group of people he just wants pets Knox is the happiest dog on planet mm -hmm. earth i just want to hang out with the whiskey dog you can go to my in-laws <laughs> knock on their door <laughs> they're not too far away yeah an hour <laughs> Oh, dude. So, do we get the bottle at the VIP, and can I buy more bottles? Yeah. Um, so, the VIP made up. We're going to give the people uh, their bottles there just for transportation's sake. It's VIP, easier for yeah. you guys to just get it that night. Yep. Um, and then you can buy more at the park the next day. Yep. Because I don't yep. know if the site will be live on Friday for them to do Hope it. I think it'll just go. So, hopefully, but yes. Or, or, um, so well, it, it might be play it by ear if we have more people Saturday. at the yeah more people at the, yeah because we already know like and I don't really changing too much anything at this point just feels like more work so um yeah honestly yeah. it would be easy Friday but let's just do it Saturday just because we already know yep the chaos um, is the fun yeah, it's I know it's, but it's like we're ready for less chaos because it's been a lot of chaos. <laughs> So this is the thing. The building lining up <laughs> with the event. <clears throat> Everything. So our Wilderness Trail pick lined up. Yep. We were in Kentucky literally last week. The building has been, I don't know, let's say the past month and a half, two months, something like that. Two for sure. The meetup has been the past few months. And then a bunch of you know, but some of you don't know that we're doing some other stuff too. And then that none of what we just talked about includes anything to do with bourbon junkies. Yeah. Like the YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. So like then on top of like normal day to day business stuff, email stuff, shooting editing, videos, shooting, yeah. shooting, streaming on Tuesdays. So there's just a lot at one time, unfortunately. Bit. Adam Sheldon, who's responsible for keeping Grease out of jail himself. Yeah. <clears throat> He's an adult. And that's this is why I'm so excited that Grease is coming. Cops will be there, Grease, if you're watching this. And good luck. I'll point it, I'll point you out. The problem the problem is if you even if you tell Grease that, he's just gonna get drunk and go talk to them. Like he'll I'm gonna make him my friend. Exactly. Oh, he'll approach them. Like it's not like they're gonna have to come. Y'all ever them. hit on your cousin? <laughs> I just realized I do a really good grease. That's that is a Ben drinking grease without a doubt. Oh yeah. Oh without a doubt. Um, there will be a listen. Yeah, you can smoke cigars at the meetup. Mm -hmm. The park has been very cool about cigars and there will be alcohol. Yeah, we're gonna make a, an announcement, but I mean, there will be like sample cups there. There'll be obviously trash from the food and stuff. There will be um, waste management uh, stuff everywhere. Trash yeah. cans is the word for that. There are trash cans. Um, yes. Um, throw your shit away. They're putting trash cans out, and if they get full, 
I was told that they'll come and like switch them out. Yeah. So don't freaking do oh, not God. litter. Don't put. Listen, if you guys literally grease is here. <laughs> If you litter, we have to pick it up for real. Like, not joking. So yeah, because we'll that, be we, we'll be there after the event tearing stuff that down. Takes our, that makes our teardown longer. Yeah. So let's and then that takes us away from coming to the bottle share. So if you guys just clean up after yourself, we have less to do, which is awesome. And the park people have less to do, and they've been really great through this whole. They've been fantastic so. to work with. Ferndale have a patio. Uh, they do have a patio. No idea if it's cigar friendly at all. They got a side parking lot. They do have a parking lot. Um, that is definitely cigarette friendly. I've seen people smoking cigarettes yep. there. I wouldn't smoke a cigar on their patio because <laughs> yeah, I'd be, I just don't it's know. It's a tiny little patio yeah, too. Yeah, it's not huge. So yeah. And put your cigars up before throwing away. So you don't how the fuck did I just kick fire. something? What's there's down there. A, uh, it's a flange. Oh, there's a flange left. Yeah. Apparently the I didn't make it. The only one. Uh, what's up yeah. with the lobby? We're just killing it. It's yeah. We're just gone. sitting here drinking it. But, you ready to play a game? But, yeah, I don't know. I think that we summed it all up pretty well. It's going to be a fantastic time. Participate in poor guesses. And this is why I forgot to yeah, add this. Yeah, definitely do that. I forgot to add this earlier. We're going to forget something, too. You, right now, I, this is why I want people to participate. I will shit on every one of you who don't do well. Know that. Oh. Publicly. I want them to write down everyone's answers. Yeah. So oh, I they can are. See how, They're all written. You know, I'll probably get it right. Dan would try. I can't wait for no. everyone to see Friday's video because I edited it last night. I was laughing. You're an asshole. I was still laughing. You're still an asshole. At one point in time, Dan looks at Dan and goes, <clears throat> I know Sean cheated. He saw that answer when he walked on over here. I gotta. I have to build a conspiracy theory at this point. You know when you build conspiracy yeah. theories? When you're losing. That's when you do it. <laughs> one WD. Sorry I can't be there. Sounds like it'll be a great time for real. You guys helped me get through a tough time a few months back, whether you know it or not. Cheers. Hashtag chaos. I'm really glad to hear Team BJ. Hey, <laughs> I'm happy we could help in any way, shape, that, or man. form. Um, Seriously. But hey, I'm hoping things are on the upturn for you and yes. everything's going well now. Um, thank you for the super chat too, man. We appreciate it. Yeah, 100%. Um, Matt said, if you take a shirt off and you don't have a koala bear drawn on your chest and permanent marker, then your greatest impression is worse than poison ivy on a sunburned armpit. Oh. That's, that sounds bad. That literally yeah, that sounds fucking analogy. awful. Um, real quick, it doesn't. So the the whiskey, you guys can guess whatever you want. The whiskey does not have to be. There wasn't a rule that it had to be Bard Sound whiskey. This is from Dr Jeff Redrick, by just, the way. Just a heads up. So, oh, here you go. Could be literally anything. Um, it's mezcal. But this is why I'm so excited because everybody's like, "My guy's so bad at this, right?" People say that constantly. That Reddit comment. How are you gonna have a, <laughs> a fucking show? Oh, and then that week, literally, headshot. headshot a bottle. And then people were like, well, they planned this. And I'm like, if Sean posted, like, the metadata from the video, you'd see we actually shot that poor guesses before Weeks we shot ago. the Reddit video. Yeah. Cheers, um, boys. Time for another... Who's it from? Jeff Frederick. It's literally right there at the bottom. Yes, it, it says it is. Jeff Frederick. I have... Yep. Cheers, boys. Time for another simple game. Enclosed are 12 samples. Group A, group B, and two mystery samples. You choose A. One of the groups and the corresponding scorecard. So if you choose flight A, you choose corresponding scorecard A. The question's very slightly between the samples, so make sure you use the right scorecard. Put it in parentheses, Dan. Appreciate that. What time's the van starting? Uh, whenever the uh, shelf turds go on. Um, Ron from Bardstown said, we're sponsoring poor guesses. Bardstown is. But like world's top whiskey taster, it can be whiskey from any country. Oh, dude, I can't. Freaking wait! I'm not. I literally and, and there's a lot of Better cool not things be Johnny smoking gun, I, dude. We wouldn't do that to people. We wouldn't have in a year or two. Wouldn't we though? No. I feel like we should have. Oh man, that knife is actually sharp. Look at that mother. Ooh. Is that the? What are, what are you Kershaw? opening right now? The samples. I thought that said key on. It. Oh, that says that key. That says key, buddy. I'm like, <clears> we're <throat> just we're just blatantly cheating these days. Where's yeah, old? with the wrecked. Bell Bev to Bo. What's up, buddy? Can't wait to see which samples you think is Bell <laughs> Okay. You know what? Who said that, Bo? Bo. Obviously, Bo. Okay. Wait. Alec timed out. Ron. Okay. Take his fucking wrench away. Where's Alec? And He's the just sponsor sitting in of tonight's <laughs> stream. Yeah, has hey, lost if you want to look down in oh, my corner. Alec hasn't said a word, so we can't do it. Oh, we would actually have to go He's into our genius. fucking shit. Damn, Alec is smart. Yeah, like, I. Oh. It's a little moist in here. A little wet. A little damp. But it was vacuum sealed, so it's... Do you want any more of that? No, I'm good. I got more okay. left. I got to drink it, too, because I need the fucking Glen, I'm pretty sure. Mm -mm. Oh, you need the Glen. 
We had 12. I gave you one of mine. Yeah, but oh, we well, we'll just have to rip. Well, I think we only need five. We need 10. Yes, that's Perfect. what I meant. Five each. This, there's two mystery samples. We have no more Van Winkle legally in our collection. Mm, we have poor man's. Pat, yeah, but it's, anti, it's Weller, though. Yeah, that's true. I mean... That's good whiskey. Yeah, it is. Someday we'll find another one. It's just fucking good. Which distillery are you guys, are you guys most interested in touring? We're going to go to Old Elk. That'll be fun. Oh, actually, yeah. That'll, that'll be a that'll lot be of fun. fun. one because we haven't I been there. I think that we're going to uh, hang out with Greg Metz, I think, which would be cool. Oh, that'll be fun. Uh, what what sharpener do I use? I have, uh, like, a, a West A kitchen Downs. knife sharpener. <laughs> that just makes sense. Because I Cause bought a kitchen I'll... knife sharpener. Sean's like, you didn't buy a kitchen knife sharpener. I... No, I definitely did. Oh, he didn't. I just get it that bug under, like, when all my knives get dull. Yeah. So I just cycle through until they're all fucking dull. Yeah. And then uh, sharpen I just sharpen all, all of them. Yeah. So it's like an afternoon. That's fair. I looked at your fucking Vero the other day and went, oh. I use Dude, that. the blade goes down it, <laughs> and then it all of a sudden goes, wink, one way, things, and yeah. then the other one, yeek, that way. It, it does just, not. Listen, it, I use that for every, almost Buddy, everything. it looks like you put it on a, a like a pan and just went, bam, bam. It it's flat twice. Oh my god! Uh, Parts of it sharp, about this much of it. No, I don't think any of it. I it, cut and tape now. Not great, if I'm being honest. You can't cut tape. It's a good blade. It does. It just requires pressure now. Didn't used to. So anyway, it's a great, tape? it's a great knife. Um, yeah, I'm sure that'll all work out. Also, Bartstown. Just quick heads up, just so you guys know ahead of time. If you're here, you're here. If you know, you know. Bartstown's going to have the new Bartstown Alec Bradley collab cigar at their booth. Oh yeah. And, I, and they're only, they have a limited amount. Yeah. So stop by. Uh, there's a treat over the, there. Uh, Chris Downing said Work Sharp was featured by Father Time, and I bought it. Oh. Unreal. I was actually looking at buying that. I think if I, heard a lot of I was looking at a full, um, like a, what are they? They're, they're, I think they're Weston, Wheaton, something like that. Okay. Like the, the glass uh, waystones. I was going to buy a set. Glass? And, yeah. Really? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Um, Never heard of that. But I was going to buy some. And like, really nice. But I watched Father Time's video on that. It's like, fuck, man. It's so goddamn simple. Really? Oh, like you just. Oh, Father. Oh, yeah. The Jeremy's one that you just set. The, the, Jeremy's looks like I should buy it. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, just got the, like, yeah. you just flip it around. Go. The problem is, is how do you, or do you not give a fuck? How do you find out the 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 factory edge degree? Oh, on so your you can do it really easy. So I'll, we'll do a little master class for you. Uh, way to do it very easily. So you can put it in there, and you can eyeball it where it sits on the blade. Okay. But if you take a Sharpie and put it down the entire blade, yeah. you can pull it through a couple times, and then if it takes the full Sharpie off, you know that's the angle. Uh, if not, okay. you'll see where it's hitting, yep. either high or low, yeah, and, you and then you can just Sharpie okay. it, and then you can... Okay. Chris Dunning said, use a Sharpie. <laughs> Touche. Well, that's what... Because I, I see that a lot in fa knife Facebook groups. I'm in there like, hey, what's that angle on yeah. this blade and i'm like see this is where i'm going to fuck it up yeah because you're talking about degrees and shit now yeah. and i'm it's not, not a geometry major so yeah. thrasher with super chat cheers boys can't wait for the weekend dan i'm having my buddy who hasn't gotten his smell or taste back after having Ugh, covid God a damn. year and a half ago what wow i am sorry he said and i bet he does better than you've been doing you know what thrasher Fuck, Fuck, that was good. Your fucking 20 dude you piece of shit god that was so fucking good Listen, like Built you us up to make us feel bad and then just fucking. It's a super easy bottle. You guys will all get it. They won't. Grease said, I'm I mean, in Dan's head so hard right now. Constantly. Did I just Grease say something? wondering if you're hitting on your cousin again every day. <clears throat> wondering if it worked out, you know? Yeah, like how many chromosomes would the kids have? In like a parallel universe, if they're still together. <laughs> Wondering if instead of Tennessee, you lived in Alabama, if they're fine. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, yeah. Louisiana, for sure. I mean, the family accepts it at some if point. If you are in any of these states that we are naming right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> Crazy. Jesus. <laughs> Jeff Frederick, hope you all enjoy the game. Um, hey, real buddy, quick, glad you're here. Thank you for sending the game, first off. We have a, a lineup of games to play. Um, oh, and we're going to get through, yeah. I promise. We have them all actually organized instead of... Now we're going to be able to organize stuff, which yeah. is going to be great. We're going to lose less stuff in theory. Dan won't. We're going <laughs> to throw less stuff away. Um, what I we got? I would like to talk about Hidden Barn a little bit before we get into the game, just a little, because we're not going to talk mm -hmm. about. Picked one. up in a bottle of ECBP after your video, great recommendation. Thanks, I boys. Think, yeah, Glad yeah. you like it. 
Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I saw one that I wanted. Oh, Russell Meyer said, saw your glassware video recently. Just curious why Dan was so offended by Norlin. I'm a GC guy, but mm. just wondering why the hate. Oh, I just feel they're expensive glasses and they feel cheap as shit. And they're really Do you know fragile. what GC is? Because the only thing I think is gas chromatography. I have, if that's what you think it is, I was, no, nah, I'll keep it's mine probably, to myself. It's probably not that. I'll keep mine to myself. Uh, you're sc- I was going to say. Uh, I don't like the the lip on uh, Norlin because it's like, it's fat when you get up to the top. So it just doesn't. I was going to say glass control. Yours sounded smart. Well, you scrub just a little bit. One guy has asked the same question a few times. Sorry. It was like R la- R something. Just a short name. R Lax. Oh, well, he retracted his message it. Retracted. Okay. Well, his message was, do we plan on getting a Russell's 13, the new batch? Or oh, for sure. Um, a King Ken- that Okay, did you see the new King Kentucky's coming out? Mm. Holy shit. I only saw him on Instagram. This is the only reason I know. Oh, it, right there. Do you guys plan on getting yeah. the new Russell's 13 or King Kentucky? The, Both if we can. The new King... We won't get probably either. either. Hopefully a Russell's 13. They're launching two King Kentuckys. One of them. I'm 18 missing. years old. Oh, what? Yep. So let's pretend that this is... Is there even a fucking, like, President's Choice that old? No. No, the President's Choice are, like, 10 to 12. That's it. Most of the King Kentuckys are, like... I think the last one was 14? Yeah. And they... 12 that was, to 14. Yeah, there's, like, 12 to 15, yeah. I thought. But okay, still. If you pretend this is the bottle with the white label, <sighs> the square... Yep. The, of the 18, because the other one's 15 It's just a old. big fucking dick. No, <laughs> Just veiny, and, and it just it says brown fucking foreman. No, it doesn't say. Oh. No, no. Tommy D said, "Cheers, that girl." No, nope, none of that. <laughs> love you, love you, love the show. Cheers, thank you, buddy. Oh, Nicholas shit. Jones, the hair's getting long, Dan. I'll bring clippers. I'm actually gonna cut it before. And them. Alec deleted it again. Ah. <laughs> uh, they they put gold foil around the edges of the label, and there's oh. a huge 18 in the bottom middle of it. Oh, okay. Uh, Trevor, for real, uh, how's your original grain watch holding up after a couple months? Mine's still, like, the only thing is the uh, the spindle is a little jank on mine. Is it? it it's, I think, like, one tooth is off on it. Uh, so, like, when I'm setting, the date is where I noticed it. That's because, the only place you notice it? Yeah. Okay. Because, like, when you go from a month with 30 to 31 yeah. days, so, so you got to rotate the dial a couple times. And time. every now and then it, like, does, a, like, a double, like, weird little click. And I, it felt like it was missing one. But other than that, it's been pretty solid. I still wear it. We should get some new ones. Is Adam Shelton not coming? Scroll up just a little bit. Where did Adam say something? Oh, oh shit. Wow, that was way simpler than... Um, Nick, do you know that we left those golden clippers on the stage? Nobody Lord knows where they I just had Elijah Craig 23 year, and I'm officially deceased. <laughs> That says deceased, right? I, I regret that I died and will no longer make it to the meetup. <laughs> oh, buddy, I'll, I I'll, I'll see you there. I hope that's that. from Joy. Embellished Podcast here coming in nice, Dan. Glad you didn't go bald. Me Dan too, Fadden, welcome to the BJ fam. Thank you for the membership. Appreciate you being here, buddy. Me too. Saw Baker 7 today. Only other beam I've liked is Knob Creek 12. Do I buy no. SRP? It's kind of going to be a letdown for you. It's kind of like... Um, no. they, they put it into a pretty bottle, though. It like is. the new bottle, way better than the old yeah. bottle. It's one of the, it's one of Beam's best bottles. Yep. Oh Shape fucking wise. Christ! Golden Corral? Up, I don't Roger? think so. Oh, Golden Corral's fire, dude. What's up, Roger Mays? How you doing, buddy? Golden Corral change your freaking life. Cock eighteen is limited. <laughs> All oh, the cocks are. I forgot to tell you. You want? You just, just give me a guess on bottles. Six hundred. Two fifty. Tommy D getting a Brazilian done right now for the meetup. Can't wait for the Speedo swim meet in the hotel. <laughs> Just pour midwinter night's tram for poor oh, guesses at the meetup, and Dan will be the only one to get it wrong. Okay. You know what? I can't. Oh, dude, I can't wait. This is my dream come true. I, Sean and I have talked about this. We've had this conversation before. I came with this idea to do the world's biggest whiskey war. But people have to guess what they are. Sean and I have discussed this like two years ago or some shit. I'm, it's impossible to execute. All yep. I want to see is people... Fuck it up. Yeah, and I get to make fun of everybody the whole time. Swamp Fox said, I got to try 22 birthday at Barrel Strength, oh my. and holy fuck. How? Gosh, that's going to be a life changer. Not Jackie. Eric Reising. <laughs> she left. Eric Reising. Rising? Like the candies. No, that's a Riesling. That's the same There's shit. There's no L in there. That's close. I was traveling through Kentucky and stopped at Bucky's. They had bourbon beef jerky. It was so good. Oh, now I, I really need great. a jerk kit. Okay. Can't wait for Saturday. Okay. You know, you said jerk kit. Yep. 
Fucking no regrets either. And, uh, Cheers, Junkies. Can't wait for the new set. Thanks, Kerber. Thanks, Bobby. I had a diet of joy, Peter Joy. Okay. I'm glad it was joy, not regret. I bet Elijah Craig 23 is fire. I bet they're good. The 20, the 18 is mediocrity, pretty much. It pretty, is. We actually old revisited. Ones. Pre- old ones are good. Old ones are really good. Newish ones. Kyle Slusher. Cheers, gents. I'll be at the meetup in spirit. Drunk in spirit. Thank you for the 50, man. You didn't have to Dude, do that. We appreciate ridiculous. that so Thank much. Thank you, buddy. Seriously. Um, WhiskeyChannel.com. Catching up from the start. Excited about the meetup. Watching at 1.5. Actually get caught up. And yes, Kerry and Sean Sherry birthday. And Kira's 29 years old. Six, six years, years running. running. Oh, go. happy 29th birthday then. You guys are pretty close in age then. Uh, yeah, I just hit 24. <laughs> Nine years running. Um, 700 so, years running. So. 250 bottles from 12 barrels? Holy fuck. It's 18 years old. And barrel proof. And apparently at the top floor. And barrel proof, yeah. So. EC18 or 10 cup 10? Well, probably 10 cup 10, because I'll drink the 10 cup 10. Um, <laughs> okay. Old EC18, 100%. Oh, yeah. But ten that's not a real thing. Right. Yeah, we have an EC18, and you poured it all over your fucking face. But we retried that pretty recently, and we're like, were we wrong? Also, do you know what made me feel good? What's that? We went out to uh, dinner on Sunday, okay. and we went to a restaurant that gives you a percentage off for whatever, like, birth year yeah. you're at. And I showed him, and Which I said, I'm 33. off? Yeah, on my meal. Just the meal. Nothing okay. else. And the guy goes, oh, I wouldn't have guessed that. I was like, oh, thank you. Yeah, but he, nobody would have. Thank you. You look 12 and a you half. You know, but. I give you a solid 20. My body right still now. feels 33. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that crazy? Um, Derek Sparks with a super chat. Thanks, buddy. If you uh, wanted yeah. to say something, just tag us. Jay Carter, cheers, junkies, cheers. Uh, and then Derek Sparks said, found an orphan barrel muckety muck, twenty five in my local shop for two fifty. That's SRP. We haven't, uh, we haven't had it, and I can't really give you it's scotch. Do you like scotch? It's scotch. It's a twenty five year old scotch that looks pretty light. Let me just. Uh, if you don't like scotch, no. Oh, you know what I mean. I'm good. I got fiber. Mm. So we had twelve. They shot that for no reason. Yep. Like it. Any thoughts on the <laughs> Remus Catherine? Oh, we're getting the Remus 6. Mm. Yeah, just found out today. Super excited about Thank that. Thank you, fifth quarter tailgate. You're hurting my feelings. Super mm. <laughs> Oh, Grease said the same thing. 39. Grease is, is 40. 39. Yeah, Grease is 40, though. I think you looked way older with the mustache. Yeah, it ain't good. With the mustache, I was like, that guy's... Didn't make it, and he's 50. Uh, I'm going to say that's young Keith. Y'all going to try the Forgate Indiana Foundation? It's, it's somewhere in the hut. It's really good. I've never tried it. You haven't? No. Are you serious? I've never we tried We moved it? it? Yeah. Okay. I don't even know where it's at. So during moving day, which was Saturday, yeah. which was Sean's birthday, we're moving stuff, and me and Klein were doing quality checks, a little quality control. That he quality checked a couple bottles. Yeah, you just walk like in. Like the Four Roses Limited. Yes. You yeah. pop a cork, make yeah. sure it still tastes good, put the cork back in. If it tastes good, move it. Yep. If it doesn't. Mm-hmm. We didn't find it, it didn't, weirdly. But <laughs> if it didn't, in theory, do something different. I know the bottles that you, you a couple that you quality oh, checked, didn't I, think they'd be I bad. I quality checked a Magnus cigar mm-hmm. blend. Yep. Um, oh, I, I quality checked the, the Trevor City. That, the, yep. that one, and but the, the other Magnus, the special, the, oh, the, the Murray Hill, Hill one. Special. <laughs> yeah, I, we all quality checked uh, Trevor City, like 12 year MGP that's from like three or four years ago. We all, oh, it's you know, amazing. We quality check it. Look at this face, Dan Head looks smaller. Cheers. <laughs> We're going to play a game 15 minutes later. Good time down. Yep. Thoughts on the new changes to Midwinter Night's Ram? Excited as hell. What's changes? Uh, it's Whiteport this year. Oh, I did Instead hear that. Tawny or whatever. Yep, 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 I heard white. that. Um, I cool think the, 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 pod, the, the fraud cast was talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Craig S., I'll be there Saturday coming from New Haven. I'll be the one in the corner watching everyone. Cheers. Hey, Craig, I'll be hanging out with you then, man. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, uh, for real, super excited about uh, Midwinters. I'm excited every year. This is the 10th anniversary, so it's a big deal. There's no way. Listen, High West is not a is not a bad distillery, right? <laughs> like, High West, when High West does something really well, they do it really well. The, the um, what are the, uh, Rocky Mountain Rise, incredible. Look at Midwinter's usually good. Agrees. <clears throat> Sean Stash looks like he's trying to get chicks in the seventh grade. Oh, wow. That's that's a lot coming from a guy oh, wow. that tried to marry his cousin. Right. Yeah. Like, literally, Like, though. hey, glass, glass houses here, like, buddy. <laughs> thankfully, Sean hasn't actually done that. Like, you maybe. have actually done yeah, I the did. thing you did, When Grace. I was in the seventh fucking grade. That's fair. That's a good point. Um, High West Distillery generally does a really good job with their limits. Wait, wait, this is the last generally. year of Midwinter's? No, it's not. They called it... The last something. No, they're not going to end one of their they're most not, successful fucking not, product it's lines. The mo- Listen, and if they end it, I'm. 
You guys, do an A or B. You know how much before you get there. You know how much house I've sold for them? Oh, millions of dollars at this point. Okay, A or B, I buddy. I bought hundreds of thousands of it. The encore. Yeah, cool. So here's the thing. There's no fucking way on the 10th anniversary of Midwinters they're like, eh, you know what? Kentucky Owls, batch four was the final chapter. Or you know what? Take me. Oh, did you ask me that question? Twice. <laughs> um, a, it is. a for ass glass, as they say. They end it, we riot. 100%, Zachary. Buddy, I, they'll not yeah, they won't fight. That is literally one of their most uh, successful product yeah, lines. Yeah, and they know how much I love it. Mm, we're not going to throw you into this conversation. It, they'll keep it alive for hey, me. Do you know what they asked us last night? Because um, I was editing and listening to their dumb sure. ass. They, they said... Um, this is the wet one, if you're wondering. Oh, they're, Al, they're oh, okay. all wet, buddy. Okay. They're all wet. They said, uh, did you get a media sample of the new Old Forester birthday bourbon? He said, we don't get media samples for us? shit. Yeah. You know who doesn't hate us? Uh, Remus. Lux. Yeah, Lux. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Blue Run doesn't hate us in theory. That's true. They Lux sent us media samples. Blue Run though. can't hate us, right? Because of me? You know what I'm saying? You know what's going to be funny? <laughs> if we ever reached out. To who? Anyone for media service? Yeah. But oh, recently? When is the question? Yeah. Yeah, because do you remember um, back in the day when I was like, hi, Wes and Brown Foreman did not even respond? Yeah. yeah. I do remember that. But how many discoveries do you think we had? Just ballpark it. I don't know either. Maybe. 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 Less. Yeah, and probably. it was early. There were like eight channels. Yeah. It's bourbon. OG night. channels, yeah. Was probably getting samples at that point, I bet. Jason might. I don't know when Jason started getting. Jason gets a lot of samples. He does. You know why? Because everyone likes to talk to Jason. Yeah. It's just, he, he hunts. Jason's he hunt an easy talk. Yeah. It, well, he's an easy talk. You can oh, talk yeah, to Jason. 100%. Everybody can talk to Jason. Yeah. It's like talking to Father Time. You just get lost in conversation. Yeah. You're like, what just happened in the last I, hour? I will say, me and Father Time, is so you, same with you. We, we, all, we just have so many um, of the same interests, right? With, with oh, Jeremy. Yeah. It's, yeah. I, like, you could talk literally talk to him anything for Anything in week. life, yeah. Yeah, because he, he... We've talked talk. a lot of shit about life, and it was yeah. just like, nothing you guys would imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I've talked about politics with Jeremy. I've, literally everything, everything, everything. He's one of the best people to just shoot the shit with. 100%. Because it, it, it's kind of like when we talk. We yep. sit down, and it was like, I'll see your point of view. Yep. Here. Yeah, nobody's an asshole. Yeah, yeah. Nobody's mad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Bourbon Guild was fucking OG as shit, man. True. Um, Penelope probably doesn't hate you. That's probably true. We probably talk Danny. If Mike. Mike and Danny hate us, <laughs> then they're the best liars of all oh, time. Oh, hundred percent. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. Like, okay, we have relationships. Hey, Logan, I Penelope. will fucking shave this off before the meetup. Promise. I did ask Gabby the other day. I said, "Hey, do I have uh, what's up?" You see, just look at the color on that. A little red. I'm tell you that's not red as shit. That is Dalmore from here. One hundred percent. Now, I, I said, "Hey, do I have like some Barbasol at home?" She goes, "Why?" To fucking shave. <laughs> what do you mean, why? She's like, no, we don't have water. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. Hey, if I don't have water by the meetup, you'll know. I'll be the guy with the flies <laughs> chasing after me. So I'll be the guy bathing in the lake behind the thing. Elijah Craig probably loves Sean. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Luke Quali controlled the uh, maritime hit, smoky maritime hit. Ooh, solid one. Solid, solid quality solid control one. one. Okay, who just said that? Was that Aaron Atkins? Hi, West Hub's now overpriced hot garbage now, Dan. Just move on. <laughs> Bomb fire. Sincerely, the meetup bottle flip champ. You know what? He is just going at you we'll with this shit. We'll have an interim champ this year, and next year there will be a freaking belt or trophy. Hey, you got a pen over here? I'll go grab one I don't real have my quick. wallet I got, either, which had a pen in it. Uh, I've got one in my car. I've got two in my car, for sure. Oh, hell yeah. Because I have my book, and so, I have a car pen. Let's see the other Car one. pen. Okay, Bob, I'm not reading that either. My gosh, dude. Um, Sagamore, yeah, we have, like, we're friends with people of Sagamore. We're friends with people of Penelope. Um, we're friendly with Blue Run. We're, I'm trying to think, like, Lux, Lux, like, legit sends media. Like, every time there's a release with Lux, Lux lets us know there, there's a release coming. So, like, the Blood Oaths, the Remuses, the um, Davis Counties, the Yellowstones, that kind of stuff. Um, Cameron likes belts. Okay, Jeb. <laughs> Dude, there's no freaking way. And I'm definitely not Justin Watkins. I don't even, Justin, 
Thanks for Super Chat. I'm not reading your hashtags, buddy. I Holy can't. Shit. I can't read those. Read the first one quietly. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> Appreciate the monies, Gosh. but I can't read that. Um, Here you go. Even Nashville cheese. Barrel Company, are friendly folks. Listen, I'm not saying who's friendly. Most of the industry is friendly. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have um, Ron from Bartown. Great dude. Yep. Like, awesome dude. I love that guy. We've hung out a handful of times. He's amazing. Um, like, like, we have 10, 10 we, distilleries coming to the meetup. They're all friendly. Yeah. Like, we, like, have, we have friends at a lot of distilleries. Yes. We just... Like, we're just old foresters, like, I don't know who they are. Why yeah. do we talk? Why? We have no one, yeah. like, there's no relationship there, so no. there's no reason for With them to West, be from, yeah. Public trade, none. So it's, it's, like, there's no reason for us to be friendly. Like, we really haven't reached out in the last year and a half. Probably till, three, honestly, probably three. Oh, years. yeah, at least. Because we were talking about 2,000 to yeah. 5,000. Yeah. So three so plus years. First it's first post year. anniversary. First year. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That we reach out. So it's, yeah. It's you guys? Yeah, 100%. Dano, you get it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's cool. Hey, the cool ones are cool. These ones are, I like these ones. I do too, a lot. Yeah. Um, that's why I've got two of them. The cool ones are cool. How about that? And then it's other, hey, we don't. It's right. just what Listen, it is. Hey, like, we're, we're, we don't care. Okay. Cool. In no way, shape, or form is this uh, uh, like us sitting there like shit talking anyone well, like this because we're not or like, oh, we should be on it. Just, we're not because we haven't reached out and not, we don't have to it's be not either. their they job to reach to, out to us. They don't have to like us. They don't need to fucking reach out to us. To, like, well, no one needs to fucking sell Old Forester Birthday Bourbon. For them. Come to find out, pretty easy sale. Yeah. You know what? They can send out zero media samples. No one would know what it fucking tastes like. Do you know how True. many people will still fucking be there for it? True. When they said, hey, don't camp out this year. Okay. People still will. Um, real quick, yeah, because not everybody's going to see that. You know That's a good point. Oh, third, somebody asked us how we feel about the birthday thing. That's Thursday's video. Thursday's video. So. I actually have group B sample questions, too, which is funny because I didn't even know I had a header. Check. But I have. I'm glad you just said that. Okay, ready? These are the rules. Some samples. Wow. We didn't, ins we didn't. Mark, even BJ's yelling, selling shelves in the background for new bottles seems kind of bare. <laughs> no, man, this is the new, not, this is the new set, yet. man. This is, <laughs> Dude, this is it. <clears throat> oh, man, I was hoping you guys scheme. would be more. You guys didn't get it yet? I was hoping you'd be more supportive. <laughs> um, oh, Hidden Barn Take. Trash. We Next. both feel like it was a product that didn't feel ready to hit market for your brand launch. That's how we both feel. Yeah. Right? We, we both collectively said that for a first product launch, it feels really shitty to lead off on that foot. In all honesty, for any product launch, we don't love it. Yeah. And it's at a price point. That's $70. Well, I don't think, I, I believe that current entry to market is around 70 I, I don't hate think. them for the 70 Price no, point. That's, if the product is just pretty good, honestly, yeah, at this point, but um, it was not. We neither of us really prefer it or enjoy it. It well, tastes Jackie was coming young. until then. Ah, no, 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 I definitely not. I, I, we have never talked to Jackie or anything like that. Uh, listen, no, you guys know. Everybody here knows. Everybody, everybody on planet fucking Earth that's ever seen this channel knows. I'm the president of fucking Jackie's fan club. Yeah, I like we. I, I'll I'll buy batch too. I don't give a fuck if Jackie's still involved. Like I won't. If she's involved, I'll buy a batch of Dan will buy it for us. Now, Sean and I have had, the, there's an argument to be made. We've had batches of things we didn't like, ECBP. 100%. And then the next one, we're like, damn, that's really good. Yeah. If they don't switch sourcing, I don't know if that's possible or not. The Neely distillate may be why it is the way I'll it be is. I, I'll say it publicly. I have a couple issues with that release. Every, I think most people do. One price point, hundred percent. Yes, With, for that product, the price point. Jackie literally said she tasted it after it was bottled, and said, was not happy she with said, it. She said, "Oh no." Her and I told Dan, oh, no. "If something like that ever happened to us, you discount it. True, and you just try to recover some cost. But people have to know that you. But you tell people that, it's bad. that's not what you were aiming for. Tell them it's bad. Yeah, Sean's basically said we call it the fucked up batch. Yeah, I it said doesn't that's taste the like up batch. And no. two, she said she blended it in like an hour. Yeah, so that was on Jason's stream, right? That, mm, I think someone, that was on Someone Jason's was talking stream. about, yeah, that, was, like that it was blended in like an hour. I didn't see that part. That to me feels a little dishonest as, like... It just I, seems really fast. Yeah. We, we've we put stuff together and then come back and then like, like you could mix two things together, mm -hmm. put a cap on it and be just like, whoa, could you smell that? Like yeah. that was amazing together. Yeah. But I hated it that night or something. Sure. It, things change so much. Yeah. Those, um, those those are my two big hurdles on it. 
Yeah. I, listen, I... Price and effort feel a little dishonest as a, a first entry to market. I think they, I, ju- I just, I think they shit on their own brand. That's yeah. the unfortunate part, right? The unfortunate part is when... And I don't feel like that was her intention in any way, shape, or form. No, I'm not, not saying she was dishonest. I'm just saying it, it feels that way as a consumer that you're like, hey, you mix that in an hour, blended it and put it out, and then we're like, oh, no, I didn't like it. Yeah, that's a bummer. Now, she did say COVID changed her taste and smell. So she... There was no age statement on it. Uh, it's four so to five. It's straight, so it's got to be at least four. Jackie confirmed it was four to five-year-old distillate okay. on some uh, interview or something. I, I'm, more, I'm disappointed. I, I feel like a, a father, and I just caught my, my teenage daughter coming back in, and I'm like, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> no, I genuinely... Uh, I'm the biggest. Oh, yes, we will eventually play the game. I promise. We'll rip through it. I don't give a shit. I'm a. Bu- I'm. I'm the biggest Jackie Zykin fan. I, I think she's amazing. I still think that she. I, she's still a rock star in the industry. I. This is the thing. I don't think that like blending something makes you. I don't think one blend makes anybody not a good blender. Like yeah. if that's where everybody's mind's going, I don't agree with that whatsoever. I think there's a thousand arguments you can make to, that would disprove that point. One hundred percent. I think if you give there's somebody, not a blender in the industry that won't. That couldn't tell you. I put shit together, and you're like, Brr. that wasn't my favorite. That, was, that did not work. Or that out. didn't turn out, or yeah. whatever. And it still made it to market. Um, I that I think the 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 problem is is Hidden Barn hits my huge damn. with Jackie's Icon leaving Old Forest, that being the biggest thing in the news. Switching over. Yeah. Oh well, not only did she leave, but she just announced three weeks later. She announced that she's going to Hidden Barn with the 5280 guys from Colorado. Yeah. Right. They're launching a brand called Hidden Barn. It's, they're sourcing from Neely. Listen, the, the there's trans- a huge vacuum there, the, and it all just kind of yeah. fucking. And the transparency is super cool. That yep. part's great. The problem is, is what this was a perfect. This guys, this was you know like the the freaking Eminem song, like this is your moment, the moment. Oh yeah, right. That's their moment. Mm-hmm. You're telling. Listen, if somebody's launching something and you pull a Jackie's icon, you yeah. pull a Russell name, yeah. you pull a name like that in the industry, you launch now, go, yeah. push, shove, and fucking shoot it out everybody's ass because it's got to be on shelves <laughs> now because it doesn't matter how it takes. It didn't, it didn't have to be, though. It, no. Now, here's the thing. That's in theory how you want it to go if your product's ready. Yeah. Their product wasn't ready. This is I the, don't think the so. only downside to the whole thing. Is that the product wasn't ready? Yep. The product. I that, felt like it, that, that, I think that's was why. Was insane. That's why I feel like the 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 one. Even if you say I blended it in a day, that's it was like that feels so rushed. Why? I don't see that part. Put, put that a month into so it. Weird put a week me. into it. Put a day or a couple days into that it. That part is like, just weird to me. I'd like like more um, explanation on that part. I guess. Cal Dubé is in Barn Wars and Castle and Key Batch One. I firmly believe so. I do too. I'd agree. There were parts of Castle and Key Batch 1 where I'm like, I like parts, not all of it. Yeah. I don't think it's a good product. Yep. I like parts of it. 100%. I accidentally I liked, had, a, I liked a little bit. I will say it was like sweet. I said it's... Uh, oily as hell. Yeah, it had a great mouthfeel. Talk about Hidden Barn now. Yeah, yeah, I am talking about Hidden Barn. It, that, uh, like, it, it just felt like tobacco and Honey Nut Cheetos to me. It, it, it's In the most disjointed way you can put those yeah. two flavors together. It's hyper youthful. I'd love if Jackie... Blended different distillate. All right, can we get out of this before uh, this gets clipped and sent to her a thousand times? Let's nah, play Um, you know I what? Love that, I love that Bruzel's in here just doing the whole Eminem song now. Yep, I love it. Bruzel, how are you, buddy? I saw Mom's spaghetti up there. Bruzel, I was uh, we were driving back from Kentucky. Klein was in the car, and I had Klein watch some of your videos because uh, Klein's our buddy, and yep. I had Klein watch some of your videos. I'm like, you gotta fucking watch this guy, dude. It's funny as shit, but. Um, honestly, yeah, all said and done, I, I'm a bit, I'm still a huge Jackie supporter. Love yeah, Jackie. 100%. I think she's incredible. I think I she's think great at what she does. She's bringing, um, a, a youthful perspective to the industry. I think that she's bringing a different perspective to the industry. I think that what she did at Old Forester should go down in the Hall of Fame. She brought a brand around that wasn't huge and in the spotlight all the time. And she yeah. put them there with a team, but she did it right. So I, I will still, I'm still 100% on Jackie's team inside and all this. I do think that that was a misstep for Hidden Barn. That's all. But Oh, blocks. there he is. I always have a cigar with my cereal, said Alec. I actually finally believe, I fucking actually believe found that. him. Oh, we baited him out. Yeah. Did it. Whew. We did it. Bruzel, no worries, buddy, man. We'll do another one. Okay. So here's the next one. He's Justin. You got to chill, man. Here's the game. 
Justin, we got to time you out if you do it again. I'm going to be honest, buddy. Even on a super chat. Yeah, even on a super chat. Um, It's a little much. It's a little much. This is this. I'm gonna read the rest of it. Some samples may or may not be the same, so feel free to talk and share notes. I like it. Bottle guesses do not need to have the correct batch or year. So if oh, it's yeah. ECBP, Obviously. it's ECBP. Well, I mean, like I just said, obtainium. Yeah. And I mean, we. <clears throat> yep. Uh. So <laughs> Will I ever not convince you I didn't fucking cheat? I don't actually think you cheated. Okay. But if I lose, I have to have. You looked right at the I camera. Made an excuse. And said, I have to have one. Cheated. And what am I going to just be like, yeah, I lost? That doesn't feel right. You've been waiting that long all fucking night, buddy. I appreciate it. Um, Okay, the last few times it. you have said I have not given enough time. <laughs> okay, apparently we, we complained about Jeff's last game. Every time? Last few times you said I have not given enough time. I will give you 10 minutes. Whoever finishes first gets one point for the slight advantage. We don't have a time. Oh, no, we have phones. It's we just have whoever phones. ends first. Oh, uh, Arlac said, Old Forester, single barrel battle strength worth 100 plus a hard note. Hard note. What if it's a mate? What if that's a really Yeah, but one? the odds are still in. Can the you hard try n- it first? Yeah, that'd be good if you can go in the store and if they will let you try it, then maybe. But we've had more not good ones than good ones. How about that? Yeah, but the... 100's still a fucking but the flip, man. good ones are really good. Is it worth $100 to you to flip? Yeah. Really? No, to, to buy. Oh, to I'm saying, but I'm saying, no, I'm saying like it's a, fl- it's a coin flip. Oh, right. No, I Because when they're you. bad. No, um, when, when I was oh, on vacation rough. in Kentucky, I saw them for 120 I didn't buy it. You, I See? couldn't try it, and I didn't buy there it. There you go. And uh, the 20 was not the make or break there. So. If you can try it, yeah. Some of them are so good, but some the, the ones that aren't good are just really hot. So. Yeah, they're hot to just be hot. Um, So, otherwise, rules are self-explanatory. Winner gets to choose who drinks which mystery sample. And the God event of a tie it. closest to total proof wins. Thanks for the endless hours of entertainment. Can't wait for pours in the park. Good luck. As always, an end. You're drinking that one. As always, hashtag Team Sean, says Jeff Frederick. Well, Jeff Frederick. Well, uh, well, I know it's on a delay, but 1WD said, $100, I'd buy it. I haven't had a bad one. Some are just hot for hot sake. Which oh, is Oh, so you don't 100%. dislike that part of it, though. Man, but some of them just fucking... Slap you with some weird notes if for that, old Forster. If that, like, if the hot for hot sake doesn't buy, bother you, then yeah, sure. If yeah. 100 bucks isn't like the end of the world. Yeah. Is there a flight tonight? There re- is, bubble bath. <laughs> retail is 80 bucks. Yeah. So that's not, I mean, it's not way bad. over retail. Okay, real quick. Hold on. Bruzel said, Bruzel, congrats on the freaking blow up, dude. Sean oh, and yeah, I were going shit. through We were looking at some analytics there, there, buddy. Good for you, man. Uh, Bruzel's on that fucking up and coming. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bruce said, I tried to talk my wife into arriving in style, found a 1970 Lincoln Continental Coupe outside Detroit, was going to fly in, buy it, cruise up, then home. Damn. She turned, she said, definitely not. Yeah. That was the end of the story yeah. later, but yeah. Okay. Do um, you want to use a phone or just whoever's done first? We'll just do whoever's done first. All right, cool. I'll be done way before 10 Um. All right, so let me go through them real quick. So we've got proof, price, name the bottle. Uh, then proof, price, age, over under 12. On sample A, or and B. sample two. Uh, then proof price name the bottle, proof price name the bottle, proof price age over under 18 on D. That's a that's a statement right there. Is D four or five? A, B, C, D. Four. Okay. E. Buddy, mine's not the same. Oh, it's not? No, we don't have the same whiskeys. Shit. Yeah. Wait, what is yours? Over age under over... 18 years. I don't me. even have an A. I have age over under six. I picked the better one. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> well, I picked hopefully. the better one. There's scotch in here for sure. Okay, Dwayne Clow. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Cheers, fellas. Zoe and I are so bummed to miss this. We're going to have a great time. Looking forward to hearing about it. Thanks for the super chat, buddy. Uh, thanks for That'll sharing that uh, that Dusty, too, in Kentucky. Yeah, for real. That was some um, wild shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. I know. Dwayne Zoe. I know. I, I, something just clicked for some reason when oh, I said yeah. that. Dude, did you hear about Room 40? Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. No. <laughs> Dan, I didn't. Oh. Oh, so you're going? Yep. Okay. So what was it? Oh, that smells fucking good. You got room for these nuts? That's pretty good, actually. (sighs) That's that's fucking good. You know how long it took me to remember that? You know why? Dude, that's fucking good. I haven't heard. You know how much fucking TikTok I watch? I have not fucking heard that one yet. A lot of gaming streams. Zach goes, dude, did you try room 40? I go, what's room 40? He goes, room. He got in Discord and goes, Room for these nuts and leaves. I'm like, are you fucking God kidding damn, me? dude. Best one I saw heard. one on TikTok the other day. Best I one forgot it, but I, if you said it, I would remember it. I went, damn, that's good. That's a setup. Like an unexpected, completely unexpected. Damn, oh, that's good. Was it the Imagine Dragons one? 
No. Did you see the Imagine Dragons one? Yeah. He goes, hey, man, how, what, who, who sings that, who sings uh, that song? Thund- that's like the, the Thunder, the, the Imagine Dragons? Imagine me dragging these nuts. Dude, was it the kid? Did you see the one with the kid? A kid did it to a grown man. Oh, one no. of the greatest things I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Wait for these nuts. God damn. The one I can get is Warehouse K. Anyways, this, my A is fucking fantastic. Mine smells um, weird. Phrasing? Uh, odd. Malty, I think. Ooh, mine tastes a little grain forward. That hurt my feelings, actually. Because I really enjoyed the nose on that. Um, Fuck is that hot. I was waiting for Bruzel and ADHD Whiskey to become the best friends of all time. Well, I mean, he's already got a best friend. He Ryan. lives in Kentucky. It's Ryan. That's true. He did eat the oyster. Yeah. Mm. Mm. There's a cricket. It's a little farmy. Yours is too, huh? Yeah, it's like um, smashed oats. Like steel-cut oats, but spicy as fuck. Uh, I don't think we have the same whiskey. <laughs> it would be like if you made um, bookers, but with oats instead of... So little book. Corn. What was that little book we hated? That was one with rice. I think it was back Oh, four. that was brown rice. You're right. Brown rice and oats. Same exact thing in my brain. Mm. John, John <laughs> That's an issue, I think. John J. Bowman Singler was freaking awesome, dude, for real. Possibly living old Forester junkies making future up. Well, Jack's not there anymore, so probably. Uh, so definitely bad. not. Yeah. <laughs> she still would call thing. him up and be like, absolutely fucking not. I feel these like guys. we could have hung out with Jackie and like been friends. Oh, 100%. We still think, probably could. I think that people who like people say that. You know what I mean? Does that Can we sense? also just throw a little pause in there? Sure. We're just being honest. With Hidden Barn? Yeah. I listen. I I still defend Jackie. I, I do. Yeah, I, same. None of us. There's we've Sean and I have talked about this like on a different bottle. platform, but there's so many assumptions being made about mm-hmm. who made the call to release it, <laughs> mm-hmm. how what the price was, everything around it, the distillate that was chosen. There there's so many things that might not have been in certain people's controls that everybody's making assumptions. The only whiskey I've had today Everybody. is ninety proof. Oh, do you know what is great out of a fucking flask? What's that? Um, Blaine Bow. Oh, dude, killer. I, the, I did t- you have a cigar? Yeah. Fucking fire. I had that with a, just a Jeremy Cyrus flask, actually, uh, out on the golf course. With that, just a little, took that around, mm-hmm. and Aaron was there. He goes, you know, I, I don't mind high-proof whiskey, but low-proof? I said, that just hits different out of a flask, buddy. And with a cigar, it's so good, dude. When I was in Virginia, we were on a family vacation a couple, Name few years bottle? ago. The- actually, it was our baby vacation before Luna came. We took Holden to a beach. He was catching crabs. And at nighttime, they would go, Ricky and Holden would go to bed. I, <laughs> Virginia Beach, hell of a drug. Um, I, he's literally oh, catching the little ones. If you've ever been to Virginia, they have little beach crabs, tiny little beach crabs that oh, come out at night. One? Tiny. And they're all like clear, basically. They're like translucent. Holden would chase them around. I would always tell Ricky, mind you, he's at the time he's four or five. Yep. I'm like, hey, don't, don't try to grab them. They but bu- holy fuck! And Ricky goes, just just. Oh, I know like, that. Oh, it's not a big deal. Yeah, he's just having fun. And so we're all walking. Me and Ricky and Holden walking on the beach. Swear to God, he finally gets one of those motherfuckers and clamps on for dear life. Oh, that's a little different than one. Yeah, it is. Jesus Christ. Christ! Oh yeah, mine's that's well aged whiskey. Yeah, mine's good too. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah, both better than ones. Dude, he literally, the thing Dan just goes. He caught crabs in an arbor. They go. <laughs> he picks up his hand. It just goes with him. And I'm like, I hold like, it. I don't to, know what to tell you. We'll have to TikTok of some uh, old fucks trying to uh, throw a lobster into the, the pot, which they tell you not they to do. Yeah. And uh, so he gets about this far of tilting that lobster, and he goes, <laughs> oh. Boom. oh, dude, lobster's different. That's, that's not the same at all. <laughs> Sent it. Both said. Dan caught crabs in Ann Arbor, and I shouted it. Man, this is good age whiskey. My fucking Lord, is that good. You know who I'm going to miss at the meetup? Both when he can't make it all of a sudden because somebody calls in a threat on his flight. Oh, uh, my God. Daddy? That's okay, gotta be... Colorado, I'm not answering your question. I know where that's going. Read Colorado Burbsky's dude's question. Where are we at? Colorado. I'm not, I've been there. Fitting a pizza in his mouth, that's it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I had the new Little Caesar. Not re- the like whole thing, two yeah. Two weeks ago. How um, was it? Yeah, you ate the whole thing. They do the pepperonis that curl up. 
Holy shit. Oh, like the the, the old world style, oh, like the buddy. little baby ones? They, they, over a hundred of them. And then it just pulls all oh, the juice buddy. in the there. The whole food just tastes like pepper. Oh, ice. smash. I'm just picking up the John J. Bowman up from the distillery tomorrow for the bottle share. It's a good one. Such a good bottle, man. The single barrels were so good. <laughs> the glass tank was Sean's version of the hands make a heart when someone was asking for an item to be handed to them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh my God, is that good? I, I like this feels so familiar. This B or A? My B. Okay. Or actually, like, I, we're going to have to use numbers because of the A, B category here. My, like, this is so fucking good. There are very few bottles that smell like that. And I feel like someone's trying to trick me with it. I feel like they're all tricks immediately. Uh, Cam said, agree to disagree on Hidden Barn. Reach for the bottle when I want something funky and interesting. It is definitely different than everything else that we've had in a long time, without a doubt. Not a daily, not a special pour, but interesting. Way less weird than 291 other craft stuff. I, um, is a lot of that other stuff you're talking about $75, though, Cam? I think they put that out at 40 or 50. Everybody can just agree to disagree, right? That's my guess on B. Holy shit. Oh, we want big boy guesses. Ah, uh, dude, I don't, I don't fucking know what else. Like, oh, you and I have very different whiskey on it. That is number one. That's a ripper. I'm bringing Penelope. Oh my god, this smells. Jeff Frederick, you beautiful bastard. I'm only the three. B and C both smell real good. Uh, Penelope Architect Build Two and Knob Creek Fifteen Year to the bottle pick to share. Oh, that's Bove. Ugh. We've, we've got uh, enough people that I can give a picture to them. Be like, no. Uh, write them. If you guys mention anything about the fundraiser stickers, um, we're going to close that up soon. Yeah, we're doing it. We're just going to do it next week. Next week. We're going we're gonna to wait Absolutely basically until sober. the meetup's done. Yep. We've talked about how much time and effort it's going to everything going on right now. Yep. Uh, we're going to close that out, and then we're going to draw a winner. We'll do a live or like a video or yeah. something, and uh, just pull a, uh, do the, the random just number. draw generate. next Tuesday. We could do that. Just have it set up beforehand and draw it live. Yeah. Show them the screen so yeah. everybody can see we'll it. We'll get everyone into a random number generator yeah. and um, get someone picked. We have all of them in a tote ready to go. Matt Horn, holy hell, the robbers only left the same bottles. <laughs> no, they, they kicked them all out. Um, we had to bring those in. This is starting to feel so freaking familiar. Um, oh, my God. I just went back quick, to A, and there is a weirdness on that. Cam said... I'm the Matt Madness champion of the world. Is that what he said? No, he didn't say that. I think the controversy with Hidden Barn is solely based on price and Jackie and where you stand on those things. A lot of knee-jerk reactions. I don't agree. It's just, you could blind that whiskey to me. Actually, it got blinded. This, in. So this is, now here's, why don't you explain I that? I actually might go out of my way to agree with Cam, except something happened on Saturday. So on Saturday, we had, the people that came over, because it's not in Michigan at all, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not one of those things like it's around here. And we have bottled here. So, because we were just in Kentucky, we saw it. So we bought Um So when people were here, we had, you know, like try it, because it's not here and you might not get to try it, whatever. So they tried it. And one of them, let's just say it was this glass, they set it down on the table. We were moving stuff all day. There was eight of us, so there was a bunch of different glasses and stuff. I thought, I, I had I had whiskey that I know what it is still in my glass. Oh, it was really good whiskey, whatever. And I thought that was my whiskey. So I went over and I picked it up, and I smelled it. I went, holy shit, what the hell is that? And then I looked over, and Brandon starts laughing, and he goes, that's Hidden Barn. I'm like, well, we know blind, I don't like it now. Because that off the nose was like, not something that I would revisit personally. Um, but, you know. Dan I, actually looked at me and said, it's so much worse when it's blind. I did, those are my exact words. Brandon actually told that story to somebody and wouldn't use my name. And then somebody goes, Dan told me he said that. And he goes, I didn't want to throw Dan under a bus. Dan went, what the? Oh, my God, this hidden barn. It's so <laughs> much worse when it's blind. <laughs> Dude. I'll throw you under the bus. I Cole McCarty just got Penelope in Missouri or Mississippi. I said Missouri? What the f Fuck. Can you be, give me a quick rundown on their base lineup? Penelope, black labels are it, 100%. Blue labels, the architects, great. Black, black labels, labels is awesome. it, though. Red yeah. labels, pretty damn good. Um, What's that 90 proof one? Uh, white, they sell a white shit label, ton of it. Okay. White label. The white label's like the... Just look for the black label. I think, I think the white label is 80 good. proof, actually. Is it? It's just, it's just a mass market, like, you know. Um... 
Tim, I, uh, you know what's really good? That you need to try too. That Frank August stuff that Dustin and Kelly that we all that I was like, oh yeah, we don't have one. Then oh. that I opened it, I'm like, we left really on a great. trip, and then I found a bottle and I said, what's that? And Dan goes, we have one in the hut or the castle. I said, what? I've never seen that bottle. Because bet me anything right now, we've got one in the castle. I'm not betting anything. You're way too confident. He goes, we just got sent one yesterday before he left. I was like, I would. I wasn't even there. Literally just had gotten here from Dustin and Kelly. Okay, I gotta that's go, really good though. I gotta go back to number three. Um, that's really good, but I have no idea on any of these questions. Cam, I think there's a lot of really good distillate not in Kentucky. Whoa, Chattanooga. Fuck. We're back at it. Back in Funk Town. It smells like a wet shoe. Oh no, I like that. Whoa, no, fan. huge fan. Really? Huge. It's fan. youth then. 100%. Okay, Thanks for that. Hold on. Let me smell it one more time for real. Well, look how dark it is. Yeah. It's malty. What is that? Oh, I have a. Which I don't one have are a you on? I'm sorry. Two. You know, I'm just doing I've tasted three here. a couple you get times. Extra point, we get it. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> you look like a wet shoe. Oh, apparently the uh, delay is not that long. It's not bad. Um,. Honestly, I really do. Uh... Oh, okay. Christian Mones, been a Patreon member for like two months now. My name is still not in the credits. WF, Sean. Hashtag Team Dan. P.S. Oh, the new rest barrel strength is amazing. That Thanks. has definitely fallen to the cracks. That's not on Sean. That's on me. So Dan has a file that's the, the Patreon Was it June? outro. June? It's June. Yeah, my bad, guys. We batch Next two week. months of content and then have done the meetup and the castle and everything fucking else. Yep, next and week. And that has fallen through a bit. So I apologize. I've seen a couple of people complain, and I can only say I'm sorry. My bad. But I will. Next week. Dan's had a lot on his plate. Next week. I wasn't going to add one more thing that I... I it. I know some people really like to see it. Yeah, people um, love it. People do. I, we don't I, do it for all us. All I can do honestly. is apologize. It's for yeah. you guys. It's 100%. Thank you guys so much for supporting yeah. us. Uh, but... It, well, okay, you know what? Because the actually the content shot for the rest of August. Yeah. Um yeah, so this it'll be week is edited right now. Yeah, it'll be up in um September first is a Thursday. So let's count on it being in September. I was 1st gonna wait video. until we knocked the meetup out yep. before we talked about going back through things. Um because as it goes, that one's means a lot to us. Yep. In no way, shape, or form yeah, is that sure. a, an allegory to me saying it doesn't. Okay. It does mean a lot to us that you guys are there to support us. But the outro. This is, here's the thing. What's actually interesting a bit. is we, okay. Oh God, when, why when do that like was that? added as like a Patreon perk, did you think like nobody gives a fuck? No. I thought like nobody gives a fuck. No, no, no. Because like, it's, we'll it's like, people's name and that's nobody cool. Care. It's like, I'm a part of this. I know, but it's so weird because so many people care. You know what I mean? Like, it's, like, one of our most, if it doesn't change for two months, it's one of the most, like, like hey, man, we get messages about it and stuff like that. Barrel 15-year gold toast is fire? Really? Well, you don't buy a lot of barrel stuff, but I would be willing to dabble. Ghost Piper, a lot of people do watch scratches because, like I said, it, yeah, you're, you're really part do. of something. You're, you're showing, you're putting your name on our content because mm -hmm. you're choosing to support us, which we... Can't say enough thank you about it. And I, I'm not, I don't take it lightly. I, I do apologize. It just, it it's really me. has. Let's take credit for it. My bad. You'll be there. I, listen, September 1st, count on it, okay? Because um, we literally shot all of August almost in July. Yeah, no, we really did. So we could. Oh, except for the th this Thursday is the only thing that didn't. Because you guys we, will know this Thursday was not shot We planned on shooting a video that just didn't work out. So <laughs> it, it just. You'll see. There's a setup video. What, what the fuck dude, is that? Dude, the number two is the most familiar whiskey on planet Earth. I felt that about uh, my B, too. And that's why I went with this. Because I felt like we just fucking drank it. There's something about it that seems so familiar. It's going to be both that's great. I really like this whiskey. You know what? I wonder. Rare Perfection 15. Is that the grape one? We had a Rare Perfection that was just grape Jolly Ranchers. That's all I remember about it. It's Canadian whiskey. Somebody says a sample wasn't a bottle. Oh, okay. My mind went rare character there for a minute. Oh, no, no. So I was like, huh? Rare Perfection's the tall wine bottle with all of the cursive writing on the front. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? We yep, see yep, them yep. all the time. Yep. You never buy them. They're expensive as well. They're like 200 bucks or something. That's they're not old, cheap. but they're Canadian whiskey. So they, they don't carry the same. Yeah, flip me off fire. Sean, hey, we were in agreement on taking away your mind. 
Yeah, we are. Is he a mod? Still up. Not anymore. Oh, no, we both voted. Love you, buddy. So <laughs> way down here, unanimous. if you guys want Alec Bradley, love him. 13 months of sexiness. I have an injured one, but it says 18 months up there. Tennessee Jed, so glad you guys are back. Can't wait to see the finished castle. Hate that I have to miss the meetup. Give Nick a beat a kiss for me. Dan will take care of that. I already kissed him. He's not even here yet. Oh, he cracked himself at 18. My God. I, I want, like, a, a sp- like type category. Yeah. I got the type. I don't know. You got like, the type on that? What do you think the type is? I have a guess on type on that awry? one. Awry? No. Yeah. Yeah, it is. This has got to be mm. a, uh, like, a high west double rye. No. But it was so goddamn left field. Luke, I'm only through two of the five, so I, you know, maybe we do like an 11. Hey, what are the proofs on those you told me one time in a video? You called me stupid because I don't know the proofs on them. On what? The, I'm not telling you. Perfect. Now. I'm not telling you now. I'll tell you after you write it. No I wrote 105. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's too close. 98 to 110 is the range. I, you said it was higher than that in that video. No, because you guessed 90 proof. That's the problem. Oh, that's what it was. Because you were like, all nine, the lowest one I've seen is 98. Remember for 22 months, hashtag fire show. Thank you, buddy. Over, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's almost it's two years. years. And we took his pot away. Is that oh the last God. one? My last one's literally right. Oh, daddy, smell that. Oh, forget we sample own this. Two. We own this. Forget sample two. What up, Grant? This is How are you doing, buddy? I don't even need to fucking drink it. Rhetoric 22, baby. I'm not writing that off the nose. But Jeremy. imagine if you were right, though. Jeremy? And I win. would be if you were right. Oh. That would be the moment. Like, I'm, Dude, what is that whiskey? It's so butterscotchy. That is either Butterhouse or Rhetoric, and I'm not fucking kidding you right now. Butterhouse and Rhetoric are both over 18 years, so... Oh, my God. I picked the right sample Oops. list, if you're wondering. I hit the knot in the table. Woo, daddy. Grant Hartwig. I haven't seen your sexy face in a while. Support Alec and Fire Sean. Well. What well. is that? What is that, Daniel? Talk me through it. What are you feeling? Not a fucking clue. It just smells really familiar. Does that smell familiar to you? I don't know what it is. It There's no whiskey in there. Yeah, no, I'm still getting some hints. I'm literally oh. nosing an empty glass, sir. That could be fucking anything. It's a uh, rebel. No, it's empty. Robotic. This is a oh, freaking sorry. member roll call? Because I'm down. Oh, my lord. Okay. I, I need to stop drinking these. Jeez, oh, peas. I'm drinking all of them. What up, Robotic? How's it going, buddy? Rare character pick is fire. Thanks, Luke. I love that Dude. pick, man. Uh, somebody said rare character is garbage. Listen, you got you to gotta understand that rare character is only single barrels right now, I believe. Yeah. So you there could, is. Oh, the amount that that man had. How many, how many did we try that day? Uh, we went through a, a box of like. And then we moved him on, too. We had two boxes. We had, two, we boxes. had two boxes. I think. I mean, we yeah, had, it was 12. It was definitely 12. So we had, a, we had a box and Matt had a box. So. We all agreed on one of the 12. That one. Yeah. The one we ended up. Yeah. The, the like one that last Friday that we just did. That was the one that everyone said. That oh, one's that's really amazing. good. Dude, um, you've been killing just, it. Andy, I just had something the other day. I went, fuck, that's better to remember. Andy um, came over and helped us move on Saturday. Andy's yeah. awesome. Andy tried our new riff and a rare character, picked a rare character. He did. <laughs> I was he goes, actually oh, shocked. He goes, there's something different about that. I like that. I legit was shocked. I really thought he picked the new riff next to each other. Love the rare character that I had in my whiskey club. Dude, the the one... Oh, Joe said 10 regular, 2 finished. Mm. And we picked both the finished. Sorry, Jeb said rare perfection is dog water, not rare character. Sorry, I got it that confused. Uh, that's fine. Oh. Whoa. The head different? Dude, uh, in a different way. Most of these are good. Jeff Frederick. Texas? Jeff Frederick said a lineup. You almost dropped that? Randy Moss. Oh, football starts again soon. The only thing I can see this being is like, uh, oh, there's so much fucking tobacco on this motherfucker. Same with this one. It feels like aged whiskey. This is the one that's over under on 18. This feels young as fuck. But there's heat on it. This has got some heat. Yeah, fucking, so unfortunately we accidentally, we didn't know at the time that one box was bourbon, one box was rye. Mm-hmm. So we gave another box to Matt and come to find out we kept a bourbon box and gave Matt a rye box. Now, I heard that that rye from Ryan 
I, when Matt was not around. I heard that rye was freaking fire. That so. is one of the best things I've drank in a long fucking really? time. Really? good? It's got heat. It's got sweet oak. It's got the tobacco. It's caramel filled like a motherfucker. It coats. It's hot. I am so excited to see what that thing is. Because normally um, things that have that like flavor profile don't have any proof with them. That's usually a 90 proof and drinker. Has, and then you said that's hot. Interesting. You think it's ultra aged and hot? Yeah. Shit. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Oh, there's proof on it. Holy shit. But it smells amazing. It smells great. It does smell old. It's weird that it is not low proof, honestly. Uh, ooh. This, this blind's got me fucked up. He said 10 minutes? Holy shit, I've been sitting here sipping this for like 25. I think it fucked this really up in 10 minutes. I can really do damage in 25. Yeah, 10 would have been rough. For you me. feel good about any of your answers so far? I've only done three. Just want to write an extra. I've done down four. For you. Yeah, I just start. I just did four for the first time. I haven't done anything on three or five. Oh, you didn't do three? You skipped it. I drank it twice and went. I don't know what's going on. Jeff yeah. Rollins, cheers, fellas. Wish I could make it this what's weekend. Up, hey, man, we'll miss you. I have though. There'll be another <clears> one. Horses of bourbon, bring all the love this weekend. Hey, hope you're there. Cheers, bring buddy. all the love this weekend. I like so horses. I have, yeah, I don't like bourbon. We we'll probably get along. We went I, out to Sagamore. I read that. Brian wrong. showed us some baller ass horses. Oh, yeah. Those they are the got coolest big horses ones. I've ever seen. So we just went to, um, so my wife's, um, I think, what is he, like, great uncle? Or they're like, there's Some a family. There's family sure. right, but they're on like a rescue farm. So they take in oh. uh, like rescue animals yep. and stuff. So they get a bunch of horses and stuff. We came over them. Those horses seem like normal horses. Mm -hmm. The horses at Sagamore were fucking Built huge. Different. Built different. Yeah. I could ride one of those horses into battle. I'd look small. Yeah, like, because I was like feeding them like treats, and it was like, oh, it's like a normal horse height. Yeah. The ones at Sagamore, you're like, here you go, horse. Dude, Brian. They weren't Clyde's, yet, but they were huge. BG Brian for Sagamore showed us these horses. They're all retired race horses. I didn't realize how big. I think race I heard Ron Sealens. Well, you kept timing him out. Well, weird, Alec. I wonder how you lost your fucking mod, Chief. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna see. Oh, Alec won't be there, so I'll get to see Ryan or Ron, and we, Ron and I can just talk shit. Like, man, Alec is such a dickhead, dude. They're like Clydesdale, but they're race That's got to be fucking King Kentucky. Whoa, big guess, dude! I have two big guesses on this. Yeah, thing. you do. I really do. Hard cut off at eleven. Oh, I still have two glasses left. We're doing eleven fifteen. Yep, eleven twenty five. Eleven twenty five. We, the problem is we got to, like, get up and do... There's just shit to be done. Like, there is. I'm going to live here for the next two days. Unfortunately, we just got to do shit tomorrow. <laughs> Alex said, wonder how you lost the channel sponsor, Chief. Wait, he's right there still. Can we check it? <laughs> yeah, Alec, the sign's still up, buddy. Man. I don't know what you're talking about. Alec, I still see you on our screen. That's why I don't pay ahead of time. <laughs> Oh, I've been talking to Alec. Dude, the other day, Alec called. I didn't even believe that's right, but that's amazing, wherever that is. Dude, the other... Okay, so when you have a little baby, they make different noise. Little babies make, like, cooing noises, right? Yeah. Right? You've heard they, little they, baby they, noises. Yeah, yeah. When you have a little baby and they make that cooing noise, then they get older and they make yeah. normal noises. Like, they talk. Yeah. And then they talk back to you. Yeah. And they're like... Like, my son's like, your dog water. He'd, like, talk shit to oh, me yeah. all day, right? All day is all he does, so, talk shit to you. I, I'm on the phone with Alec the other day, and I'm walking around doing something, and I hear a, a baby coo, and I go, I literally, like, dead stop. I'm like, that, that's <sighs> Go snug that baby for me that's is what you baby. said. And he goes, yeah. Um, he's like, yeah, he's, like, sleeping on me right now. I'm like, oh, dude, I'm just, like, skin the skin back to fucking baby shit. Like, oh, oh, we get to be um, babysitters here in, like, a weekend or two. With right? a, a human? Nina's child. They don't like that kid, or? They are going to a wedding that was specified no as baby. no sure. no kids. Sorry. So we got designated. How we're, old we're close. is this child? Uh, sh he is six months, seven months. <sighs> baby, baby. They're trusting. Yeah. Oh, you know, but so, you know me. Yeah, but Gabby. At six? Gabby's nobody. sister is 15 years younger than her. Oh, yeah. So she grew up with Raising a baby. Yeah. 
And it was oh, like, I don't. now all my friends have had babies. It could be your job to raise babies. Been there, done that. At six months, I ain't giving my baby to nobody. He's a, but he's I a have young fella. Issues. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, you do. Mental problems. Yeah, you do, for yeah. sure. 100%. Nobody can figure them out. Yeah. Christopher. But they're there. Moan. Moniz. I'm going to oh, go man. with it. No, uh-uh. Christopher Moans. Uh, thanks for the we insight, guys. The just busting moan, balls. Moniz. That's Moans. There's no way. Hashtag Team Sean. Now I know it's Dan's fault. Thanks for the content. It is. Cheers. Elijah Craig. <sighs> Elijah Craig toasted barrel tonight for the stream. Oh, solid. Really dude. solid pork. Is it Belgian horse? No, it wasn't those. They were like actual racehorses. Like, mm-hmm. they're, they were retired racehorses at Sagamore. Some of them have been to the Derby, yeah. right? Yeah, one yeah. or two of them had been to the Derby. Like, like legit racehorses. Romo Cass gave me four team challenges, one team, Dan. I missed that. I mean, that listen, I'll take the three one. Months. Thank you, 1WD. What's up? Okay, I'm just this, trying to catch up fantastic. a little bit. This is fantastic. Dude, there A4 are really some good. fucking wild ones in my lineup tonight. Jeffrey. Joe? Speaking of Sagamore, we're going down to pick up a seven-year-old pick Friday and a case of the Night Brunch Punch. Watermelon can do their their can cocktails at uh, Sagamore, fucking wild. But oh they're all like nine percent and will kill you. They're so good though. We've only had two or three, but the two or three we've had are amazing. Paul Graham, thanks for the twenty. Uh, just add us if you you missed typing. You understand when you have kids, Sean? Oh, buddy. The cooing noise is a now. Here's a, now. This is the thing. All my oh, friends have kids. Oh, he said that because I told him that you hate when people say that. That's why he said that. Too. Oh, that's true. I there, him. there, are, there are certain times right. I think you're very allowed to sure, say that, and then there are certain things you're like, all right. Okay. I get the one that. time, I don't remember what I we were talking about worry or something, and I'm like, that's almost all of my worry comes from this one source, which is my children, right? Yeah, yeah. But then. You were like, yeah, but when people say, when this happens and people say, you'll understand when you have kids, and it was the dumbest shit, like a yep. fucking diaper that or some shit. Me. That bothers like, me. No, we all know what diapers are like. Yeah. Like, we all get it. When people are changing diapers, they're like, you'll understand when you have kids. Like, I've changed diapers. <laughs> like, this is, that's, all right, cool, man. I told Alec, I was like, Sean hates it when you go, you'll understand when you have kids. There are, there are it's things fair. that are 100% acceptable when people say, you'll understand when you have kids. Cool, you're allowed to do that. Certain things. Right. When you say dumb shit to me, I'm like, you don't understand you have kids. We got a Cool, man, Terry, got, I've got a dog. We got Sean fired. <laughs> Jeremy Hetman, late at the party. Not sure you all discussed birthday burden being a national lottery. Cheers, all. See you Thursday. That is actually our video. Christopher. Monez. Here we go. No, you should have just kept the moan again. Crushed my last name pronunciation out of the gate. It's Monez. I did. Sean called it moan initially. I almost spilled my fucking whiskey. That's water. No, the first time. I was drinking whiskey, you said moan, and I was like, okay, we're doing, we're going down the fucking... No, I, I think I said it right the first time, and then I <sighs> re-backed up and went Gosh. moans. I love a good wedding. Good time to dust off the... What the fuck is that? What's nocta? Prima nocta. What's that? I shouldn't ask what's that. I feel like I shouldn't have done that. Prima, first, nocta, dark. First dark. <laughs> Go ahead. Your, your 10 minutes were up 15 minutes ago, phase palm. Fair. No, 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 our 10 minutes are up in uh, 24 minutes. Greg said, you ever pull grass out of a dog's ass? You'll understand when you have dogs. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, there, no. there are, now that you put it that way, there are actually arguments that work for that when you're like, you ever have hair all over your house? You oh, not you, you only furry boy. It. You'd only get it if you had animals. Yeah. You know what I mean? You'd only understand if you had a German 100%. shedder. That's true. Teachers, what time are you going live, buddy? 11? Right now. That's hot. That is. Pete Bauer said, I don't even smoke cigars. Now I'm looking up AB. That's because Alec is in here talking his shit. You should. If Alec, you don't smoke and you dude. want to get into them, you go by the uh, the American Sun Grown or the uh, the Connecticut Nano. Connecticut I Nano I for real fire. I died saying that. For real fire. I, oh, well, actually, um, the uh, the gatekeeper in the Corona, super easy to get people into. Weirdly, the gatekeeper is a weird one because it's darker. It's, it, it is, looks intimidating. but like uh, Aaron and Katie, we're Very just out. Gauge. Yeah, you're good. No, you, like the Corona, right. I'm saying, like really? the little one, the petite. Really, that's mm-hmm. the Corona one. Yeah. Wow. So I, I had that, and I fucking cut it, and they were just like, "All right, we're gonna smoke it," and then they were all Katie? like, "Yeah, that's a because I had a, uh, an AJ, um, and uh, the AJ Caldwell, yeah. the collab. I smoked yeah. that finally, sure. and I was having that, and they had the the gatekeeper." We were that like, they both mind. tried it, and they were like, I think I prefer the the gatekeeper. All of wow, them. Wow, that actually, dude. 
Man, that's fucking wild. The, it, and that's three people that don't smoke cigars. Right. Tried it yeah. and then said, I prefer the gatekeeper. Good job, Alec. Alec did that. Not bad. Good job, Alec. Because that gatekeeper's in Alec and Bradley. Jeff Roderick, I can't wait to see the answers. Buddy, I think you sent our, your, like, fucking everything at it. Because I had some real big boy guesses tonight. You and I have very different guesses. So you went real high? I went real high. You went real low? This this is red as fuck. Whatever this that's is. That's Dalmar. That's as red as red kids. Uh, Jeff, okay. Uh, that dude, Hoppy. Thanks for the super chat, buddy. Let me smell that. I, I'm so intrigued on that. No. No, it's definitely not. What the absolute fuck is that? I, not, not a clue. It's finished up. <clears throat> um, I had a guess for uh, this one. And I started talking, and I completely forgot it. Bauer, try the, tr- for real, try the, uh, Amer- this, uh, we have one right here, actually. Alec Bradley Connecticut Nano. They're, they're small, which is great if you haven't done cigars before. Um, for real, dude, and they're, re- they're priced really well, so that's a great thing. Um, try that. It's so good, man. When I take the trash down the driveway, I literally light one of these, swear to God. <laughs> like, these are... Some of my favorite cigars from AB. I don't know. They just, I jumped into them there. Alec, the reason he said that is because you're in here talking shit, you son of a bitch. Oh, 100%. I'll talk shit all day to Alec. Dude, I'm so glad Grant Hardwick is back. I, we haven't talked to Grant in so long. We have not, long. actually. That beautiful motherfucker. New to cigars, try to Magic Toast. Love it. Mm. Let's try to try next. Try it with coffee next time. Try the oh same cigar God, with yes. coffee. Change Holy your whole life. shit, is that nutty? Try your whole life. Which one? A. Now you went back to it? Yep. I believe that's real. Maybe <sighs> samplers are, dude, the, the five pack. The Kintsugi is still probably my favorite, hands down. I think that's actually a solid, like, it's jump It's an all-arounder. Mm-hmm. I can what pretty much put it with everything. Glenn, that? you know, I had to look at that twice to make sure I'm not fucking that up. Glenn Morris? Yep. Why? I don't know. Something about know it. Why? Because it's close to our fucking knight's name. Oh, yeah. Glenn Sir Glenn Malort. My clearly Dickel Tabasco says Delta Fox Trout Whiskey. Heart stops 1125. We got 19 minutes. That was great, man. Dude, I'm... That's Shit. younger whiskey. What I'm having a, a real... Hard time now. Wine finish. Luke, I got a case of Kintsugis and gave them all to my friends and family, most who are not cigar smokers, and they all love them. I'm telling you, that that's a that's a giver right there. I wish there was an age on this one. I don't like my my real big guesses anymore. Man, that's so aged, though. <laughs> Aiden said, Sean, send feet pics. Paisley is a nickname that should catch on, I think. <sighs> Grant, you're fucking fine, man. Dude, everybody's got a life to live, buddy. When you're here, that's awesome. When you're not, do your thing, buddy. I hope you're well, man. That all of a sudden tastes like water. That's not good. I don't even have bottle guesses on these. Like, that's the fucking rough part. What up, Stanley? How you doing, buddy? Man, is that good. I I actually finished B. That is probably one of my favorite fucking pick, or uh, things out here. Really? Other than uh, this one. That one. Which is just hot and delicious. And I love it. Did you say the Mashwell said, what up, peeps? Yep. Tony, back at Donuts. Hi, BJs. I'm having my second eye surgery in the morning. Hey, First off, we'll pause right there. I hope everything goes well on that one. Wish you could be there for the next weekend. Hope it goes well. So I can do it again next year. Um, getting like cataracts or LASIK? What are you doing here? I'm done. Been done. I've just been drinking samples. Yeah, I know. I'm just so intrigued by that last one. I don't know what it is. I think it's a bourbon mm. that's finished in wine barrels. Oh, God, that's good. I really, really, really like two of these. What's up? You'll like Grant Hartwig's latest comment as much as you like those two whiskeys. I'm going to grab the key. 
Patrick. Hennessy. Take a road trip from Massachusetts to Kentucky. Would love any restaurant or bar suggestion in Louisville. Love you guys. Keep up the great content. I don't know. In Louisville? Oh. What was the place we just okay, went? you got to go to the breakfast spot. It's called BBB. It's called Big Bad Breakfast. We oh. just went there two weeks ago. So Fucking good. Fucking awesome. We went there during Whiskey Weekend. So good. It, uh, it, it's a more upscale order at the cash register type deal. Well, so we just went there when we were in Kentucky because I'm yeah. like, we just came here. It was great. Dude, we went back. It was fucking awesome again. I mean, it. we sat down. I got like eight coffees. It's freaking awesome. Um, it's definitely BBB, well. but it is like a uh, breakfast spot. Is Sean fro- still frosting? Yeah. Um, oh, shit. I forgot I, I think my, again. Yeah, we did twice because. We keep forgetting about that. Just because there's a lot that of that also got boiled now. down a little bit through, and then I was driving home, and I think I called you like three times on the way home. Like the other day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I, I called you like once. We talked about something. Called you again. Forget, and then the third time we go, you know, really going to forget about? Yeah. That. 100%. Yeah. I had completely forgotten about it. Yeah. And then we then while you, we were on the phone, I looked it up, and I'm like, dude, it's too it's kind of too long to do at the event. I'm going to try to do it at home. Yeah. I told just, Gabby to order me something. And then she could just we'll do, do it, it at home. Gabby could do it 100%. Yeah. We'll, we'll do something at home. and Yeah. My mom used to do it to me all the time. She made me do it. And now you're uh, going great. You're not balding, but going great for sure. Okay. Um, I felt like these samples were amazing. CJ said, Growl House is great for breakfast. CJ would know. So if you want to trust somebody, that's who I trust. Yeah. All right. What did you say? Sorry. Okay. So sample one for me, I called 123 proof. I called a hundo. I said it was under $125. I said that. I can't even follow directions. I wrote 80. So meaning So under. under. And I called mine Larceny Barrel Proof. I said Castle and Key. Oh, wow. Um, oh, I don't want to say what mine is. Hold on. I don't want to say what mine is at all. So mine is 117 proof. Oh. I'm six proof off. Fuck. You had to be five? I had to be five. Well, you can smell that and tell me... Um, Okay. It actually is over 125. And. On the nose? No. Which one? Which batch was that? 10? Mine is Old Carter Bourbon Batch 8, which we liked. I really did like this one, but I thought it was larceny because there's a nuttiness to it. I thought it smelled young. Okay. Well, I said mine was 100 proof. I still, get a, nu- like I still get a nuttiness out of it. It smells like mine. I, I get the same Eight note. and ten are the two that we liked, though. Eight and ten were the two that we liked because it was seven and nine that we disliked. Thanks, Longshanks. Because it was seven, eight, nine, and ten that Dan and Judy sent to us. I didn't get um, any points. Did you? No, no. Definitely. You call that 100, 100 proof? Oh, this isn't good. You Cause, said it was 100 yeah, proof? Yeah, because that means all of this is rocked. I called it 123. I was so, six off. So, Sean, uh, I'll go through mine real quick. Um, I called it 100 proof. It was 116.8. Man, that drink's so, so hot. So, 16.8 proof off. <laughs> Dude, what, I was six. I was 8% off. Like, holy shit. Whoo. Okay. Um. Uh, the price was over 125, uh, 160. I guessed 80. And I'm not going to say what I guessed again, uh, but it is Old Carter Batch 10. Dude, it doesn't smell old to me. Okay, sample two. Mine proof, I said 107. I said it was over $80. I think it was, oh, okay. It said age, I, I, I pulled it in here. Said age over or under twelve years. I wrote yes. You want to explain for you? It's open over. Your key card? Over. Okay. Okay. Here, okay. let's over. Like sixty from a kind of ten year. What'd you, um, what'd you say? On mine, I said uh, proof one ten, which all my proofs are going to be fucked for the whole night. I said wait one ten. What'd you scribble out here? One zero. Okay. I had to add the extra one. You know what? I could have wrote a one in front of that. Um, I said proof one ten over. $80 under 12 years. And I get wrote question mark for the bottle. Okay. Well, 
Mine is 90 proof. Let's cross that out. Did you get a point? Oh, you it is $150, so I get the point there. One point. The age is over. I called it Pappy 15. It's Fable and Folly. Oh, oh shit. I knew it was alter Whoa, age. It's really? got that's gotta that's be That's a burr ride too. Dang it, that's wild. Dude, that Fable and Folly. Fable and Folly's good, man. But we it, like it. it's like it's spicy. Yeah, that's but the it's ride. Sweet. That makes sense. That actually makes sense. It it lost me a bit. I literally thought that was Pappy 15. I did a great job. So um Did you? It did really good. Uh Dad Dude Hoppy said I bought a 1976. Holy shiz, I drank it, but I what <laughs> it is. And that is verbatim. That's how you know that dude Hoppy drank it. Because I as what it is or whatever. Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> I appreciate you, buddy. Thanks for being here. Yeah, uh, that Fable and Folly, I remember liking a lot. Yeah, yeah, I, I liked it more than you. The only reason I went 107, I wanted the right 90 the and fucking 90. 90. I wanted the right fucking a lot B. I was like, but we just had it. Right, it, so in my it mind, clicked. I was like, clicked. dude, that's just confirmation bias. I was like, oh, it feels like 90. Bruce will say, I'm going to post on Reddit. You'll never get these right. Well, wait till you see what mine is. Go ahead. Bruzel. I guess it's 110 proof. Again? It's 100 on the dot. Um, now, mind you, I'm reeling it in. That's significantly I'm, I'm up closer. to two points here. I'm Three. Missed. Three because I got the extra one because you took too long. I'm at zero. Uh, price over or under $80. I said over. It is 100. Thank God. Uh, over. That's Count a it. fucking godsend, literally. Is the age over or under 12? Well, sir, I smelt that and thought, I get a little youth hint. It is 14. You wrote under. I wrote under. What do you have? Name the bottle. Lucky seven, the hold up 14 years. 14-year-old Barton. Buddy. I guess it was under. T- I guess it was under 12. Yeah, and you wrote question mark, question mark as the bottle. And the Barton makes sense now. Dude, that Fable and Folly slaps. Fable and Folly's great. I love Fable and Folly. I got a backup for retail. Fucking love it. It's in my bunker. All right. Third one. Yeah, this is going great. I got one. Was it one to three? Two. Three. You got a point for the time. Oh, yeah. Three. I'm going to count them. Jeff Frederick, you know what? You put that in there because you know Sean's going to finish before me. You know what I mean? Yeah, everyone knows. Fucking cheater. All right. Uh, sample three. What was your Phrasing? proof? Uh, so, proof. I wrote 115. 100 for me. I said it was under $100. said over $100. And then I wrote Old Forester 1920. I refuse to say what I said. There's like a nuttiness to it. I'm not saying what I said that was. I didn't. I actually didn't name a bottle. I wrote question mark. Six <gasps> proof off I again. I finally get a point. Holy shit, thank God. Six fucking proof off oh, again. I love this. Okay. Mine is 108 proof. Don't get that, because I wrote 115. <gasps> it I wrote, makes sense. Oh, no, it is 100 MSRP. Sorry, I get one point. Okay. It's Bomber's 2021. I thought it was Old oh. Forester 1920. Oh, Mictor's Old Forester. Doesn't feel that far off. There's a little bit of nuttiness to it, man. This makes so that much one... sense now. This makes so much sense. <sighs> this bottle makes the most sense. Oh, oh. What is that? That's the uh, the Bombergers. If you do these back to back and... It's just cherry. I'm going to tell you it's... what this is. Cherry, a little bit of nuttiness. Super fruit. Well, when you go off something like that, it's super fruity. Okay, um, I wrote 100 proof. It's 104. Hey, you got a point. I'm reeling it in. All right. I got one. Um, Is the price over or under 100? I wrote over. It is? Under. Okay. (laughs) I wrote question mark. Uh, It is Penelope Architect. I feel like that one designed for you. You know what I mean? I mean... I just, Is that three? It's the stave finishing. That's the nose. The stave finishing is what you're smelling. It makes it rough. I'm not going to lie. That, that, that this, makes it rough. The stave finishing makes it funky. Now smell your bomb burgers, though. Did you smell this? Smell your bomb burgers. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. Super fruity. Okay, four. All right. I wrote 105 proof. I wrote 115. 
I wrote under. I wrote under. Uh, under eighty dollars. Mine's under hundred. Oh, mine's under eighty. Okay. I thought it was a High West Double Rye pick. Okay. <laughs> so, Why don't you go through yours I'm first? So stupid at this fucking game. I wrote one hundred and fifteen points under a hundred dollars. Over six years old. Toast of Penelope. What's the proof? Oh, you went toasted Penelope. <gasps> proof one fifteen. I literally nailed it. Oh, I, I guys. Spot on three. It. Really, I'm nailing it. I'm reeling it in. All right. Over under on price? It is under at seventy. You wrote it under. Oh shit! I got it right. Oh, yeah. this is my this is my comeback. This is, it. This is my moment. Oh, it's over. Oh, bro. Over what? Over what? It's over six. It's over eight years six old. years. Okay. Wrote over. And then the bottle? Definitely didn't get that. What's the bottle? It's Sagamore eight year rye. It's a fucking rye, and you just got. Uh, let me oh, pull no. it, Dan. Oh no, if you smell it, it's you just pulled right. one, two, three. You got five points on guessing it was a toasted MGP. And it is a fucking It's MGP. It's MGP. Rye. It's MGP though. Yeah, but a rye. It's a 95.5. Nah, no, don't smell it. It smells like rye now. No, that no. I haven't seen mine. I don't know what I'm getting, but I'm still upset by what just happened. I don't have a lot of points if that makes you feel better. Motherfucker. Well, I'm six proof off. Again. Oh, no. For the third time in a fucking row, I'm six proof off. I wrote 105. It is 99 proof. I you said it was... You were and hot tonight. I said it was under. It is over $80. I wrote High West Devil Rye Pick. It's Midwinter Night's Dram, Act 9, Scene 5. So I guess the absolute fucking distillery. You got the closest thing without guessing the thing. I got zero points for you, that one. You couldn't have been closer to the actual bottle of whiskey. Dan guessed a fucking toasted MGP bourbon and got five points. You want to talk about stupid fucking rules, Jeff Frederick? <laughs> this is my favorite. You've never been closer to a bottle without getting the bottle. You've been actually close. You've been farther off. I've been six proof off three in a row, buddy. No, no. You've been closer off a bottle, closer from a bottle, or closer to getting a bottle, and been wrong more. Yeah. Holy shit. I mean, what what did you... Oh, the last double rye you guessed. Yep. You were farther oh, off yeah. on your guesses. You got zero? I like that. Oh, I got zero off that's that a, one, buddy. That's a nice zero. You got five off guessing a bourbon. That's a nice zero right there. All right, so my last one. I will say, here's the thing. I said... That's so sweet. Uh, 130 proof. It smells like a rhino. I said it was over $125. I said it was under 18 years old, and I said it was King Kentucky. This is one of my favorite samples. Why are you looking at shit? You didn't even say anything. Thank God I wrote good on this one. Damn. Ready? Man, this is spicy as fuck. Okay. Okay, go ahead. So, I'm getting about a hot zero here. Um... Proof, 106. <clears throat> Let me check that math. That's 24 off. That was not good for me. <sighs> Price over under, 125. It is over. Got it? Over under 18. 16 years old. So I wrote under. Got it. It's come at 16. Oh, shit, really? That is super fucking good. Man, blind is good. Dude, I tell you wow. what, we've talked so much good things about Calum at 16. And blind, that's really good. And I literally called it King Tucky. That is so goddamn good. <clears throat> Coming <throat> off the old uh, midwinters is a little weird, though. This is going to piss you off. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sure you got nine points for guessing the wrong fucking thing. Definitely guess the wrong bottle. Yeah, I bet. Uh, proof, okay. I guess 112. And it is? 111. Good job. Price over or under 60, I guessed over, it is 100. All right. Name the bottle. You wrote American Prairie Pick. And then I wrote pretty damn good. Okay. Right. I would like you to keep the pretty damn, this is, I need you to really focus on the pretty damn good part. What is it, Dan? Because remember when we did our High West Pick, we liked the American Prairies they had. Because the finish makes. I just it. need you to tell me what it is. I don't need to justify how you got there. No, I just want. I just want everybody. No, I want everybody, even on this stream, to remember that some American Prairie picks are good, right? Okay. Now, did the red color 
really convinced me that it was a wine finished bourbon. A hundred percent, it did. Now, did I full send on that? I definitely wait, wait. did. Let me try it. Okay. I get um, so I get three for being within one proof, and then I get one for being over. Or uh, yeah, well, getting the, interesting. Getting the over under right. I wouldn't get. I would I just tried that one. I guess one eleven. Really? Yeah, it's hot. I guess one twelve. Yeah. My initial guess was one ten. I scribbled one twelve. Go ahead and tell me what that is. I don't even want to tell you what it is. It's uh, it's uh, it's Blue Run High Ride Bourbon. You wrote um, you wrote a rye. I no no American Prairie is bourbon. Oh, American Prairie is bourbon. Did I write finished bourbon? Yeah. Yeah, we're a finished bourbon. So I wrote a High West yeah. bottle yep. at six proof off and got zero points. Yeah, that happened. And then I wrote this one at six proof off. Sure. I wrote this one at six proof off. I wouldn't have And then also this one at probably about six proof off. If you were within five on each of those, I still win. Yeah. So you can tell me which one you want. Sean picked A. Let it be known that Sean was the one that picked the flight sample. I will say my sample list, better than yours. Um, I think that I would agree with that. What did you have? It'd what were at, your five? Come at 16. Okay. That's a stout hitter right there. I literally call it King Kentucky. Yeah. Because it Jeez, felt oh, geez, super I goddamn f- spicy. You're, you are guessing hot tonight. On I really yeah. am. I, I, I reeled I it no, in. I had like no whiskey today. I was one off on one and dead hit one. I had bomb burgers, solid, super solid. Twenty twenty one whiskey. I didn't like that much actually. Really? The Orphan Mural Fable and Valley called Peppy Fifteen. That oh, was amazing. Yo, you had a hitter flight. I forgot. I did. Yeah. Uh, old Carter Batch Eight, yep. and I'm missing what is that mine? Yep. Oh, Midwinter Ice Dram. I don't know why you I'm, had a crazy. I don't know flight. why I'm looking for that. You had a crazy flight. Holy shit! No air. Oh. Okay, yeah, yours is... Yeah. I I had the much better flight, not going to lie. There were... I had Blue Run, Sagamore 8, I had Lucky 7, and then I had Old Carter. You know how so you many really points. complained about the like the, the guessing system? Architect. Like uh, poor guesses? We should change the rules of this. I'm a big fan of this. Oh. Big fan of this. You know what? I left you, and I said, how are we changing the, the rules next, next month, Dan? This. We're changing it to this. We're changing it to Jeff Frederick. Send him. You even got the bonus. How many points did you get? Toasted Penelope. That was just a and guess. You, it was a Sagamore rye. If you think about it, skill base wise, I did better. On the random guess of the bottle, I did. I literally guessed a bottle this month. Good, sir. No, I, honestly, you just about guessed a bottle tonight. Um, <laughs> I get like six, six points. Seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, six. 14. Me, uh, uh, plus 6. What's 8 plus 5? We're good there. It's 12. But still, we're good there. So you always said 14? You double my score. <clears throat> that double is good. It did. Listen, now when you guys watch Poor Guesses and you think, man, Dan's out of it, you know, Dan can't play this game anymore. Well, double. I've won so many Poor Guesses than you. It's 13. Everybody's saying it's 13. We're idiots. We're both bad at practical math. Sh- shut the fuck up. Man, I Everyone, have more than doubled it? That's even worse. That, that's no. crazy. Woo! 13? I dropped a fucking bomb, dude. I scored more on one question than you scored in the whole game. That's crazy. Did you add your one, though, that you got from beating me in uh-huh. time? Oh, that's even worse. Hey, if I can shape points where I can, I will. Unapologetically, I will fucking lie to his face. <laughs> I, I don't think 11 would have gone, but 12 he believes. Yeah, 11 I wasn't in on. 12 I was 100%. What's with the schools in Michigan? <laughs> Not much, obviously. Man, we didn't even need the proofer tonight huh i didn't even need to add up i mean in totals i was significantly closer but you guessed a fucking rye for seven points that's true when it was a bourbon yep that's true 
I did guess the right distillery. If distillery was a question, I would have actually gotten points for that. It makes it feel worse. Was, wasn't that the Sagamore? Uh-huh. Penelope's MGP. Sagamore's MGP. Okay. But you called it a bourbon. Wrong Nashville. Same. And it's a 95.5 rye. Wrong Nashville. Same distillery. That's, that's where you're going with? <laughs> That, that's where you're going with? I got it, because it gets bourbon. I guess a toast of bourbon. If you, you guess two this? mash bills wildly wrong and got no, so many th- points. No, this mash bill's not wrong. The mash wildly bill's wrong. right. I did wildly think wrong. it was finished, actually. Wildly wrong. Dude, tell, that, even when I poured it, we both thought that was really red. Not finished, though. Not finished. You know what's even worse? That blue red sitting right in front of me. I didn't drink it, but it's right there. Yeah, it is. I didn't drink it. But there is, there's three bottles of whiskey in the hot, actually two now, and one of them is a blue run. Um, damn, man, I'm good at this, huh? It's weird. I should like this should be my job. You know what? You guys should watch poor guesses this month. <clears throat> Dan's really killing it. It's got half my score, minus a little bit. Oh, okay. Mystery sample and mystery one. We're going to do this and we're going to shut the stream now. I'm good. Well, I just like to see. Uh, I get to guess because there's no, 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 no. You don't get the. You just get the fucking right. Hand I get to give you one. Give me one. Yep. Right. So it's just a guess. This is a pure guess. Now, for all my hard work, I just get to guess which one's better, which is unfair. Yeah, I've done that too. Um, Isn't it unfair? Because I've guessed wrong, buddy. That's weird. What's yours? It's my life. Great. Does it smell weird? Oh, I have an empty glass. Oh, no. Is it like that? What? I don't know. You know I want to smell it. No, no. no I'm not going to switch them. I already, we've committed. You either switch them or sm- bring them. Hmm? I've got the better one. I won't switch them. Let me smell it. No. Let me freaking smell. If you smell it, you switch them. That's the rule. This is not what we've been drinking. What's your smell like? What? <sighs> Thanks, Daniel. What's your smell like? Which one did I give you? I gave you Success. Mystery one. No, 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 I'm no, no. I'm smelling no, no. it. Oh, that. That smells weird, too. They're both funky like that. Terrible. Smell that one. That smells great. What the fuck is your problem? I didn't say bad. I never said bad. Just different than what we've been drinking. Feels like two American singles. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I wonder if one of these is Westward or something. That one smells way better. That's got a lot of chocolate. Yeah. Yours no, Topo Chico? No, they're sold out. Try to go buy some. They do smell like single malt. Yours smells way more like a single malt. Very much so. Mm. Mine tastes like a single malt. So does mine. Jeff Frederick, thanks for sending this game, buddy. Do you have one or two? I have two. You have one. I know why I like that one a lot more. Why is that? Uh, Number one is... Wollersheim Distillery, Wisconsin Straight Bourbon Whiskey, Bottle and Bond. Number two is Blue Spot, Seven Year Cast Strength oh, Irish rye. Whiskey. Or rye? No, that's Irish. That smells like <sighs> Yeah, it does. Go into go back into it, knowing it's Irish. It's pot still. Oh, man. That's where the malt comes I from. I still weirdly, yeah, I get that weird malt. That's where that malt comes from. Mine is malty. But there's fuck. the bourbon barrel aspect of it. Because blue, isn't Blue Spot in a bourbon barrel? I think Blue Spot's in yeah. a bourbon barrel. That's that's a. It smells like a cow pasture. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm gonna be honest. So normally when I win, I'm only full of pure joy. This one time, game had it for you. I buddy. legit the bottle. I don't know that you could have been get closer to guessing a bottle than getting a high west double rye pick and it being midwinters. So, I just. <laughs> And that would have given me four points. No, it would have been a lot of points if I would have just thought midwinters. Because I would have gone down a little bit in proof. I would have thought it's over an hour, over an 80 hours. And if I would have got it, it's four fucking points. Whoa. That's far me. 
Oh, you taste lime? Yeah. Yeah, it is. That's farmy. Yeah, it is. Blue Spot is cast rank at 107. War time. All 107 right. proof. Solid mm. proof. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with us. Mm. It's bedtime. Love you guys. Oh, that's good. Jeff, thank oh, you for the game, so buddy. Good. Um, now, was it the best game we ever played? One of them. Literally more than double. Dude, realistically, score. I I don't know the last time I've really been reeling for that many bottle guesses. The only one I felt good about was the High West Double Rye Pick. Which was a good guess, honestly. I, for real. I was like... It really was a good dude, guess. You you guessed, drank, listen, you guessed... What you guessed was MGP finished rye. You know what you... Fi- you guessed um, MGP bourbon... And it was actually MGP Rye. But, but you headshot seven points off of it. But it was MGP. Listen, when the game comes down to the skill, the bottle guess isn't the Let skill. Let me see that fucking sample. Which one? The fucking... Psychomore? Yeah. But as soon as you smell it, you're going to be like, obviously that's a Rye, but we know now. So I want you to keep that okay. in mind. All right. Are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> Dude, that's so much a Rye. It's crazy. Oh. I, I did really get good samples out of it, so it's, mm-hmm. I, I can't complain. Mm-hmm. I mean, that Fable and Folly was fucking fire. You got great samples. Dude, count them at 16. These are all great samples. I will say it again. I will say it forever in a fucking day if you see it fucking buy that. You guessed that Fable and Folly was Pappy 15, so huge, blind, all, like, awesome, great bottle, right? Yeah. And then you guessed that the Calumet age 16 that. was King Kentucky. The age was so fucking hard. It's weird that you got the proof from on the Calumet 16. Uh, like it, by that it drinks so fucking spicy off that um, uh, midwinters. Sure. Oh, I didn't think about the how the fuck do you think that's a goddamn bourbon, buddy? Well, I didn't. I was just testing you. Fable and Folly worth one hundred and fifty. Yes. Well, that's what I paid for my the one that's in my bunker uh, out of pocket. One hundred and fifty percent. Yes. Uh, we have an open one, and I saw one. I said, "How much is it?" And they said, "One forty nine ninety nine." And I bought it, and I put it in my bunker. We had a great time talking about how simple, sweet, and like the tobacco oak flavor yeah. profile. Yep, it all lines up. Yep. Come to find out, it still tastes like that. Needless to say, we love you guys. We'll see you Saturday if you're going to be there, or Friday if you're going to be there. Friday. <laughs> so, or Thursday, or Wednesday, or Tuesday, or oh, any of the days. No. We love you guys. Thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight. Thank you guys for all the crazy support and the love. It's ridiculous. You guys are fucking crazy. 100%. Thank you guys and so much. Honestly, we'll see a bunch of you guys, which is going to be really cool. Long Shang says they're officially getting free sure. BJs. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Go hang out with Cheaters. Cheaters going live right now. What do you think that is on the back wall? That circle? Yeah. For what? It's not so even a stud. Measure something? Not even a stud. Cheers, everybody.